Yeah. It's time for the madness. That's why I look like I'm in my Christmas festivities, man. What's going on, man? We got Killdozer in the chat. We got the white folks, the gangsters, and the thugs already here to commemorate whatever we got going on tonight, man. It's going to be one of those nights, man. Primzilla, you ready for the theme song? I'm ready, though. Here we go. Here we go. That tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it Fuck that tough talk, that shit's irrelevant Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it by the way, the boy go by heist, man. I don't strike jacks, call the boy grease lightning. In the club fighting <laughs> with the dykes in. Drinking straight liquor, no straw, no ice in. Yeah! What up, though, heist man the foe? Talk that talk, episode 248. Man! What's up, ghetto god in here? Um, Steven Larry, Casey is raw, kill those are the white folks, the gangsters, and the thugs, Primezilla. My nigga, what up? Let us know what's on the menu tonight. On the menu tonight, we got some bub, and we got some purple runs. Some purple runs? Yeah, what you got on the menu tonight? Man, I got some red velvet cheesecake, and I got some bubble bath. Yeah, Larry. Yeah, Stephen. Larry, we see your comment in there, man. You said, um, "No lie, Angel Reese can get it any day. She bad. She twenty, so I can't say that, you know." Right. <laughs> like when I was twenty, kid. she wasn't even born. I got her by twenty years. That's my daughter. I got years <laughs> age. That's what's up, man. You do your thing with her, man. Do your thing, man. I'm drinking out of the big bitch leg tonight, man. Damn, the BBL. Yeah, the BBL, the big bitch leg. Shit. Because of one of the holidays that it is today. 
Because I'm so drinking out the big bitch leg. You but, pulled her out in a minute. I know that's right, man. And my brother in law coming um coming down here too, man. And he got one. We gonna if he bring kids, I gotta call him and tell him, man. He on his way down here from North Carolina. You see him? Tell him I said. Tell him I said nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> two more bottles in the building. What's up? Two more. How you what doing tonight? Bottles. All right, man. Let's get into some of these tweets I seen, man. Like I said, Charlene is working right now, but she will be with us in just momentarily. Um, let's get to some of these tweets I saw. <clears throat> make me laugh, man. This one right here. Look at this. Look at this, man. Rosa Parks. <clears throat> on the back of the bus, man. They put it on the back of the bus as, as an advertisement, man. Come on now. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> man. They did that. Damn. Y'all finna put her on the side of the bus. Mm -mm. They gonna win either way, boy. They were like, nah. Damn. They they know what they did when they put her you on go, the bus. You going on the back of the bus. You going on the back. <laughs> going to the back. Took a hundred years to get her ass back there, but they got her back there, man. Either this lifetime or the next, you're going to the back. Big shout out to the white man for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this right here, man. This was like a little a tweet or a story I seen in them. <clears throat> it made me laugh. I said, it's an old farmer writes to his son who is in prison. He said, dear son, this year I won't be able to plant potatoes because I can't dig the field myself. He said... I know um, if you were here, you would help me. The son right back, Dad, don't even think of digging back there. That's why I buried all the money I stole. The police read the letter the next day, dug up the whole field. The following day, <laughs> what the old son say? Now plant your potatoes. That's the, That's best, the best I can do. I thought that <laughs> was a you dope. Free, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see this the um, oh. right here. <coughs> <coughs> Juggernaut, what's up, pimping? What up, son? So I thought that was funny, man. I like that story. I seen that, man. That made me laugh uh -huh. on Twitter. What else made me laugh on Twitter? This right here. Look at this. Who is this, Preen? I know you know this R&B group. Wait for the pop. Oh, yeah. That's Boys and Men. That's Boys the who? <laughs> the Boys the Boys the Main. That's Boys the Main. <laughs> <laughs> boys the Main. <laughs> Juggernaut bit in the Gundam. He is, yo. You talking about a, a toy? He building a Gundam. His fucking damn car. <coughs> I know. I've been seeing him doing the car thing, man. I've been looking at his YouTube channel. Check out that YouTube channel, man. He been doing he this thing. The, the race he car. got that joint looking right. What else made me laugh? Look at this. I thought this was cute. It didn't really make me laugh. I just thought it was cute. Who my fan on? Damn. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> Get my smoke. Look at that. Now that would be cute. That would be cute to have your dog on Halloween. Mm. <laughs> a little Coca Cola. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know about nobody, man. We'll try this. I know I wouldn't try it. This is peanut butter and jelly deviled eggs. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. Ugh. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Ew, look about it. Ew. Ew. I know good in hell. Well, I wouldn't eat that mess, man. That looks nasty. All right, what else? What else? Ah. Uh, this is GMA. Juggernaut. GMT I like that me, setup, man. Juggernaut. Look at this right here, man. The ghetto guy Yo, himself, man. I, I saw that. Yo, when you sitting there, I said, man, I'm surprised you ain't already had it. Man, I won't. Well, you know, Charlene would not let me have nothing like that in the house. Uh, uh you have to put that in the shed. I had to put that in the shed, boy. I cannot have that. I want it, but though. still, I know. I was gonna say, no, you still want it still <laughs> in want the shed it. or not? If I get a dress, if I find me a dresser like that, man, I think I'm gonna paint it. If I find one, I think I got to do that. Yeah, I got to. I think I would. I would like literally build a whole man cave out around it. Too. Around that, yeah. Everything would be Newport. <laughs> I'll be the breaking the on top of it. I love that, man. I want that so bad, yo. I, I can't show this on the show, man. That's so dope. What else? Look at this. You want to know how a camel is made? It's made from two ostriches. That's how you make a camel. Out of two ostriches. Damn. <laughs> Charlene, the phone. Yeah, since you walk in. Uh, yeah, uh, ostrich. It's a uh, five ostrich. minutes. I want you to look at this. 
This was uh, the ghetto guy sit on Twitter, man. I wanna, I'm going back to show. Charlene just stepped in the room. I oh, show you, it to her, yeah. I said, you would not let oh, me have my that. Oh, God. I, I would let you have it in your area. You let me have it in the house? In your area. Nah, I'm going in the house. Yo, say less. You say need to build that. Uh, uh, I'm going to be painting shit. Dope, it's kind of dope. I'm telling you, I love that thing, man. I can't lie. Oh. Pardon me, I have to go tinkle. All right, I'm drinking out of the big bitch leg tonight, oh. yo. You drink out of the big bitch all the time. I drink out of the big bitch all the time. <laughs> you here first. She come in and roasting, bro. Already roasting. Me. <laughs> Look at this, man. Look at this. This is some good price gouging. It, it depends what you want to do. You want to spend three dollars and twenty five cent, or do you want to spend twenty two dollars? The choice is yours. Hey. <laughs> That's a good place to sell rubbers, boy. Right there. Right sell, there. Sell them right there. <laughs> I'd be mad, yo, if I go to pick up some pampers and that's what I see. Hey, go get the baby some pampers. <laughs> I'll you know, be back. I'll be mad, boy. <laughs> Make you just question your own life, boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how much condoms cost. I don't know. I don't know, nigga. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I ever went when into... The, when the last I time ever, you bought some rubbers? Never. I don't think I ever went inside of a store and purchased condoms. That's why you got... <laughs> that's why you got a troop. <laughs> that's, why I got, yeah, that's why I got a troop. That's why I got a hundred kids, man. Because I ain't never went in the store and purchased no rubbers. Either somebody... I, you remember we used to get them from the, um, the clinic? Yeah. The, uh, what was that? The, new the, the health department. Health department. Say what, man? I used to shop at You used to steal condoms? Yeah. Boy, look. Mm -mm. I, I'll I, just I, wait till I, Lou or Keisha go to the health I department. I don't remember ever buying it. She, Charlene said she ain't never bought nothing. She said she as, said. A grown person, as a grown person, I did. Oh. But, like, as a teenager, I shoplifted them off. Hey, at least you protect your neck. Uh. Boy, look. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I'd be kind of happy if, I, if a girl stole some condoms to come have sex with me. I had to keep them on deck. You had to keep them on deck? See? Sit your I ass down. I my first. <laughs> Sit down, man. Hotels. Hotels. No stay more. Ready. No hotels. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Look at this. He said, this is a generation of people who won't get it, who won't get this picture. And that's unfortunate. That is true, man. Because this picture right here, like, if you know what this is, you know what this is. Hell yeah, that's one of the greatest movies ever. Man. Here, baby. No, I gotta grab my snack. All right. I'm starving. I want to give you this. Oh, I yeah, put this inside. I, this inside my hat. Okay. All right. Yeah, man, that's Tremors. That show used to be the shit, man. That movie. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon, yeah. Reba McIntyre. You ever seen Reba show to come on TV? Nope. Me either. I mean, I, I do be watching it now, man. I ain't gonna front. It's, it's a whole lot of TV shows that came on when they was on. I wouldn't even think to look at. But if you watching something on TV, then in the middle of the night, you know, time flies and you wake up in the morning. It's pretty cool. Reba. Reba show came out like, oh, one. That show fire. I love that show. What's that? Reba. I'm a oh, yeah, <laughs> That shit funny, man. What? So Trimmer scared you when you was a little kid. Trimmer's was terrifying. I know. Trimmer said that. Um, the ghetto guy. Yeah, yeah, Critter, critters were scarier. Yeah, that, was it, was, it was a good movie though. I, I really did. What, what it was it? critters for me. Critters. Yeah. Gremlins wasn't even that scary. It was the no. motherfucker. You said the movie. You said the movie. This uh, people ask hey, you to move. Can we make a Tremors thing for Halloween? Make Bro, a thing? Yeah. let me tell you something. That picture just gave me chill. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy. On this week's Unsolved Mysteries. Well, look, that man right there. <laughs> well, look, I couldn't watch him growing up, yeah. Uh -uh. I cannot watch him. You know, how, you know how I used to hate being home on Friday, broke boy. with no money? Couldn't go out, everybody going to the club. And the only thing on TV is fucking Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> Oh, what movie scared you? Do, 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 do. He said, what, um, said, you know, when people ask me questions, what it movie really scared was. you as a kid? Trimmers was ghetto guys. What scared me was Halloween. What scared me? Halloween 1. The, the music of Halloween? Oh, yeah, yeah I didn't tell you mine was um, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's oh, hard nah. for me to say. I, I was scared of Freddy for a little bit, but then I really like, started liking Welcome to prom time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I love the horror genre so much. 
there wasn't a whole lot. It was like I, I never had nightmares about anything. Mm-hmm. Right. So Robert I, Stack I is a legend. I don't know, man. I think I, I was more scared of like white man mass knife chasing killing. You know, I wasn't scared of the spooky stuff like ghosts and stuff. That I don't stuff believe that. Traumatized me except for Final Destination. That's when I started getting traumatized by show, by a movie. I think I seen Final that. Destination Two. God Final me. Destination yeah. Two. I think it was um the movie called The Chum Scrumber. <laughs> I've heard of it, but the fact yeah. that you said it. That, that, Ew, that scared me. It's the, the, the way they the way they <laughs> stabbed that dude. Jaws. Oh hell yeah, Jaws scared. What a butterfly. Um, let me log in. Ah. <sighs> Um, yeah, that was crazy. I'm trying to think of something that, like, I don't know. I always like gruesome stuff. Is it Santa? Yeah, I'm doing my Santa thing tonight, man. I see. That's what happened. You don't do your shirt laundry. This is what happened. You don't do your shirt laundry. Shut up. Uh-huh. I know you don't <laughs> shut up. Yes. Shut up, man. You just threw me Sorry. off. Sorry. I know you. <laughs> I started thinking about it. I said, shit, it's time to do laundry. Nobody right. got clean. <laughs> All right, shut up. Take well, your ass and do laundry tomorrow. All right, um, let's get into the birthdays of the day, man. Guess who birthday it is today? Who birthday is it today? The dude to play on Saturday Night Live, Bo and Yang. The, the funny dude. Yeah. The, uh, you stop. Nah, I'll right. play. I'll play. I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> you stop. Right. Who the fuck? I was why you was looking at me. I did. <laughs> Jackie Chan. I mean, I thought that was Boy Yang. I'm gonna whoop your ass. That ain't Jet Li. That's Jackie Chan. Yeah. Nah, that's Jackie Chan, man. Everybody love Jackie. Jackie was dope, man. Um, yeah, Jack. I remember when Jackie played in that movie with Bruce Lee. He played the movie with Bruce Lee. Yeah, Jackie did a movie with Bruce Lee. He was like Jackie. I think Jackie was a student, and Bruce Lee was a teacher in that movie. Mm. So I can watch. I can watch the um. Old it was Bruce Lee last movie. Matter of fact, the one where they had the the double where they had to switch the person in the middle of the movie. Oh, that one. That one at so the I beginning can, of that movie. I can watch the old. Bruce Lee is like he teaching a group of students, and Jackie Chan, one of them. Yeah. You know, Jackie oh, yeah. Chan, them not own China over there. They say he owned a lot. What's his name? Um, the one he did the brush out movies with Chris Tucker. You say he, oh, yeah. he said he's not leaving nothing to his kids. Why not? He wouldn't know. Man. He said that Asha Kutcher and Mia uh, Kuna said they, they're not leaving nothing to their kids either. A lot of them, even Shaq said that. You know, like Shaq said, this is my money. I earned it. Man, well, who, who are you going to give it to? What's the purpose of me even having it? The I legend. mean, okay, so my grandparents didn't leave me anything. They spent all their money on me while right. they were alive. Right. So I, yeah, I, that's, I a, that's, that's what he did. That's probably what's going to happen with me and with my kids. Is that I'm gonna spend it on them while I'm here? Like everything I get, I, I do for them. The OG, the thing in the fifties was who? But the they things? they got way more money than I got, you know. Right. Right. Yeah, the thing was pretty cool. It was bottom. The thing. Why are they finna make a swamp thing movie? That's one, that's yeah, I heard it. That blue oh, bottle, that scared. blue beetle looks awesome. Oh yeah, I want to see that blue beetle. What's that? Blue beetle. It's 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 a oh it's the first. I must put it in here, man. It's the first um, Latin American that's going to get their own comic book movie. Ooh, that's going to be cool. Um, it's DC. When, it's about the, time. By the looks of it, it looks like it's um, Marvel. It looks like Marvel, but What's up, Cal DC. Billy? And it's a really good change of the norm. Yeah, it look, it it's look a great good. change. I like it. I want to see that movie. He got a yeah. man named G-Lo. George Lopez, he in it. Oh, he yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So funny. And you know the kid that's playing the Blue Beetle, he played in um, what's the Karate Kid? Cobra Kai shit. That nah, Cobra Kai shit. I ain't never seen. It's that. on Netflix. It's a Karate Kid spinoff. Angela Reese gonna be a generation female Kobe. Watch, you know, and Angel Reese. She said um, when they asked her do she want to go to the WNBA, she was like, Nah, she made more money in college. She made more money in them chicks, which is true. She might as well ride up. Are you not nigga tamed? Russell Crowe today his birthday. Russell Crowe. Yeah, Russell Crowe. Gladiator was on today. I, I love was watching. Gladiator. It was on today. When I think about Gladiator, I think about his fingers touching that wheat. That wheat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as he walks that through, movie, that as he walking through the field yeah. to death. That, imp- that impacted me. Hmm. 
What's up, Kyle Bailey? I see you. That's what's up. I like Russell Crowe, though. Russell Crowe, though. Russell Foe. All right. Fuck your birthday. Bill Bellamy. How to be a player? He said, oh, shit, Miguel is a Blue Beetle. You know Miguel. I used to have a friend. Thank you. Yes, it's Miguel. Thank you. Miguel is the Blue Beetle. GMTA know who I'm talking about. How to be a player. Miguel. Yeah, this is how to be a player, Bill Bellamy. This is black don't crack either. He's about 72. This a recent picture of him? Hmm? You remember I said that I have a, this is a little bit more bitch, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah, he did, I, Kyle Bill. I have, I had a best friend that committed suicide. Mm-hmm. And he was Puerto Rican and black, but he looked just like Bill Bellamy, except for super light skin. A light skin Bill Bellamy. Mm-hmm. Like somebody's lips and stuff. Mm. So when I see Bill, Bill Bellamy, I think of my friend Alex. I, you uh, who the bad? I see that um a couple of days ago, Cal Billy. Who the man? You know that song on Tubi. You ever seen that? Who's the man? Who the man? Yeah. Who's the man? They was acting like police, but he was um in the barber shop. Him and um Bernie Mac. Man, I think they had like everybody from um BET, like every rapper and every um Def Comedy Jam artist was in that movie. Man, you go back and look at that movie, you'd be like, what? He was in it. I'm talking about Colin yeah, I'm, Quinn. Yeah. I'm talking about um, Dennis Leary. Like all the act, all these comedians was in the Buster Rhymes. Yep, everybody was in that movie, man. Go back and look at it. Ice T. That was a dope movie. Well, fuck your birthday, Bill fuck Bellamy. Your birthday. How to Bellamy. be a player? What else he play in, man? Uh, Didn't he have a show like on MTV? Four show? Brothers. Four Brothers. The Brothers. The Brothers. That was the name of. Yeah, he was on. He was a um, he was the VJ for um, MTV that, yeah, back yeah, in the days. Him and um, what's, was it Carmen Electra or Jenny McCarthy? One of them back in the days, man. Downtown Julie Brown, somebody. It was probably Downtown Julie Brown. I mean, he was one of Polly Shore, buddy. <laughs> That's what back with MTV, man. They make you feel like you want to be at the um, at Spring Break. I thought I was at Spring Break. What are you talking about? I yeah, he had like room. you was there. He was there. I used to drink sweet tea like yeah, it was Hennessy. You listen to 90s music earlier today? Uh-uh. Oh. You listen to 90s music? Yeah, in the living room. I was forcing the kids to listen to Tracy Chapman and, and Sade. And Ooh, some <laughs> Sade. I bumped some Sade. That's where it started from. I needed to hear Sade. What's this dude named? David Otunga, a.k.a. one of... What's her name? I love New York Jennifer. boyfriends. <laughs> a.k.a. So Jennifer Hudson. Oh, yeah, he... He did um get, got a baby by Jennifer Hudson. Yep. You said the movie the LL and Jamie Foxx. Oh, um, any given Sunday. Yeah. That's what that was. He was Sanderson. I know a lot about movies, man. You said Tubi had lousy Bigfoot films, man. <laughs> Tubi got lousy films in general. Uh, Tubi's hit or miss, mostly miss. You know what? I can fall asleep watch, trying to find something to watch on Tubi. That's how I fall asleep now. That's how you just trying to find trying something. to find something just, to watch. Just go through all them, yeah, scrolling through all them hood movies <laughs> with all those ghetto names. It seems like they take like ghetto sayings and make a movie out of it. Like bruh finna hit this lick, part one. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at look at two movies. I know, I know. Cause you used to try to get me to watch it with you. I'm straight like, cut. I, I used to watch like <laughs> the, the, the I'm, I'm straight cut. And um, you know, I've been watching black films. Nah, I'm all good. My life. But recently, nah, they have gotten I'm degraded to the point where I won't watch the shit no more. I was like, nah, you can watch that shit without me now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah two, birthday, two, two with all stuff bottles. <laughs> Is he going to piss at me? Swedish style boots. Swedish style boots. I wonder style style when I was a kid. <laughs> you kidding you know, me? I, you know I had to sing it wrong as a kid. I wonder what I thought it was. Frederick Douglass. <laughs> That is not Frederick Stop Douglass. That ain't Frederick Douglass. That nigga used to play on The Wire. Yeah, that's Clark Peters from The Wire. You know, I started watching The Wire again. You know what I seen him in recently? What's that? Um, The Man Who Fell to Earth. You seen that? Yeah, he came on. Um, Love Jones. He did play in Love HBO Jones. Max. Yeah. yeah. See, Cousin <laughs> Skeeter. I ain't never seen that cartoon. I think I was um, trying to smoke cigarettes. Know. You don't know who Skeeter is. Cousin Skeeter. Oh. On that, what you call the show? The 90s show. 
Draws. I mean, Draws. That's his name. You remember Draws? No. He's gonna puke. He's gonna puke. He was a um, WWE wrestler and he got dropped on his head by D Lo Brown and he's in a wheelchair for the rest of his life now. Damn. Yeah. It was some gruesome ass shit been going on the past couple weeks, though. Yeah. Some over wrestling. Oh, yeah. uh, he, he played in the wire, Jake Wilson. Oh, yeah, but this draws or draws. Why you gotta call him draws? It's D R O Z. It, it sounds like draws, but it's draws. draws. Sounds like draws. Roman Reigns' brother. R I P to him. Rosie. It's his birthday today, and too. The brother passed? Yeah, the brother passed a long time ago. Damn, that nigga looked just like Roman. You can see he looked like Roman without his. Like, I'm you know, tall. You know how Nacho Libre <clears throat> made his suit? Nacho! Uh, like random shit around the damn um, monastery. <laughs> Uh huh. He made his suit out of random shit around the damn um. Beakies. Around the damn locker room, yeah. <laughs> Little kiss, big kiss. Yeah, R.I.P. Rosie. I ain't never watched him when I was doing the wrestling shit back then. I think I was out trying to smoke cigarettes and stuff. R.I.P. to Rosie. Fuck your birthday. Yo, I forgot his name. I only know his name, but today it's how far we had. We went. We sink in today because um. Today his birthday. Oh damn! Yeah, from Police Academy. Don't know what was his name on Police Academy. I I forgot. That's how far I went down the way. I was like, man, who birthday is it this week? I wonder which women. Oh, you talking about the beach house? I wish I was. Yeah. I I thought I was in my mind, but I was too young. I was like in middle school or something. Dang. TV every day. Hot town. Like I was there. No, he ain't hot towel. The black dude. Hot towel was the black dude. Officer something, but he was the one with the gun and always trying to get into. Something. He was like the military man, but yeah, he was like Tackleberry. Tackleberry. Kill Dozer. Tackleberry. Thank you, Kill Dozer. Fucking Tackleberry. Damn. Fuck your birthday, Tackleberry. Fuck your birthday. Um. Yeah, that's the birthdays, man. Thanks. Hey. to the deaths, man. Guess who died on this date today? Died on this date today. Damn, I forgot his name. Oh, I know his name. I know his What's name. Up? Because there's some old people. This is like some real, real old people. I bet you can't guess who this is. I got it. It's in my fucking head. Don't say nothing. Give me a second. Uh, give you a second. Uh, give me a second. Charlene, you I know it too. I know who this is too. Don't um, look it up online to find out who birthed I'm not. Is. I'm not. Um... <laughs> You know I'm rolling. They hating. Haven't smoked in five weeks. I remember all types of shit. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Five weeks. Ah, uh, I can't get it. I can't Hello? pull it up right now. Henry. Henry Ford. Henry T. Ford. Henry Ford. Damn. I never knew Hitler had a picture of Henry Ford. Behind his desk. And yep. He modeled his his um way his techniques of killing people off the off the um oh my god my brain's not working Henry Ford yeah Henry Ford was a big influence on Hitler's so the 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 Asher witch like hero the Asher witch yeah. um tunnel yes. was like a damn assembly line he modeled line. it off of Henry Ford's uh, uh, designs of how he got stuff done Damn. how efficient he was at getting. The assembly line and stuff, how efficient how it was to build something, he modeled it. Mm, that's crazy. I ain't know that. Yeah, man. Fuck your birthday. Henry T. Ford. See, y'all can guess who this white man is. I bet y'all can't guess who this is. He looks like his name Millard Fillmore, but it's not. <laughs> Did you type him, uh, Prince? I do know who this is. No. Huh. What sound are you typing? Ah, oh, that wasn't me. My brain's you the person that got audio from me. I've seen his picture. This is somebody we should know. This is somebody you should know. You definitely should know. No, 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 no. You definitely should know who this is. I, I do know who this is, but I don't know off, like, off my mind. Aaron Burr. I don't know. Nigga. P.T. Barnum? It's P.T. Barnum. That's the circus hey, nigga. That's I ain't know that. that I did not know that. <laughs> we, we, it ain't no birthdays and death days. They just really... No, that's pretty cool. I do like the birthday death day. Yeah. They're notable. They're notable. Let's get into the holidays. It's Good Friday. 
This is the Friday before Easter. Mm -hmm. what's, what's this happened? was the Friday, Friday when the ops caught Jesus. That's when they caught him. They <laughs> caught, that's why they call it good. Shut yeah, up, that's, man. That's a good way of putting it. That's when the ops caught Jesus. Oh. Uh, this is when we celebrating Hood Friday. And it's also International, I mean, Happy National Beer Day. That's what Did I'm drinking. You, drink. get me a beer? you want a beer? Mm -hmm. No, you don't drink no damn beer. Maybe I want one. I'll go right now and get you a beer. Go get it right now. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. You liar. Ah. I should take yours. World Health Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's Beer Day and World Health Day. Right. Damn. Drink so a beer. Not they have... that very well. Who oh, no. It's World Health Day. It's remembrance of the victims of the Rwanda genocide. Yo, Hotel Rwanda was a good movie. This is um, what's my man name? I learned a lot. Don Cheeto Day. You ever seen Hotel Rwanda? Of course I've seen it. I have never seen it. I it's would good. never see. I ain't gonna watch no damn slave. Ah. Uh, first of all, it's not about slaves. It's, it's about not Africans. about slavery. It's just about Africans. It's about and genocide, like between the two, 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 two I can't say the fucking the two C and two, the two different types tribes of people, pretty much. The suit, the suit. They said, yeah, it's something like that. But anyway, because of their noses were bigger than the other ones. It was some weird shit. And it was, you just gotta watch it. You just gotta watch it. I ain't gonna watch no slaves you know, getting it's killed. Not a slave no movie, Africans but getting it killed. It does show you the fucking, like, the horrors that happened over in Africa. It's still horrors in Ocala. But, it is. <laughs> it is, but it's good to learn about stuff like that. International yeah, Beaver Day. Charlene, you was not born in the United States. Beaver, Beaver today? No. But you was not born in the United I States. Was not. So I was born in Providence. So you got some international beaver. <laughs> I got slight international beaver. You, you were not born in the United States. I got born in Puerto Rico. So kind of. Uh, Puerto Rican not beaver. A state, a province. You got United adjacent. <laughs> right. What's up? Happy birthday to the legendary Jackie Chan. Yeah. Happy birthday to him. So what around time we recall that specifics? I don't know when Jesus got murked, yeah, but Jesus did. And that's why today, Good Friday, it's Hood Friday. Ain't 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 it supposed to be Christmas then? It was BC, right? Before, before no, Christ? No, it, it, no. no this is wrong. this is New Year's Day. <laughs> no, New Year's New Year's Eve Eve. I don't know. I'm about to go to hell in there. I'm going so. to hell, boy. I'm to hell. All right. It's Mardi Gras, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because it's, it's the it's the day the ops turned Jesus in. I like that description best. Cheers, y'all. It's, it's National Beer Day, so I'm drinking out of the big bitch leg. For thirty coins. You're gonna be tipsy later, aren't you? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I, I drank this. I'm not drinking no more. I put it in um a Corona. I got Sprite right here. I'm not drinking you liquor. Ready? I'm not drinking liquor. I'm drinking beer. Okay. All right, let's get into some madness, man. Let's get into what? The ice box. There's a lot of things on ice that we got to talk about that happened this week. For starters, we got to talk about the race war. No, no, we ain't going to talk about that. Hold on. We got to talk about this. I want to give a big shout out to what's my man named Triple H for telling the story about this little girl right here. If y'all done watched WrestleMania, this little girl right here yeah, and a whole bunch like... of other, what they call them, the... Compton, the Compton Divas, the Compton Divas, they brought out um Bianca Belair. That's cute. What's wrong with that? No, I'm saying, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm giving it's a the big, backstory. It's the backstory. Oh, okay. They're adorable. It's the backstory, Charlene. This little girl right here, though, she had a like a little solo performance. She was the contortionist doing shit. But on that same day, her mama had passed, and she still came out there and oh. did that at WrestleMania, man. And I gotta give a big shout out to Triple H. For telling that story, cause he was doing at a press conference and he brought that to everybody's attention about the My little heart. girl. So, yeah, big shout out to Triple H. Yeah, and I'm shout out. Go ahead, Bruce. Yeah, oh, I was gonna say yeah. Shout out to them for doing that. Like they made it a real big deal at WrestleMania for her, and I thought that was great. You know, like they really showed them girls like they got more airtime than Bobby Lashley. Boy, you feel me? Boy, that's wrong. I hey, they did, but hey, they did though. <laughs> they did though. They got so shout out to them. This. But uh, there was a there was a nice story from Triple H, man. It was great. Story. So I had to give him some love, man, for that, yo. And um, big shout out to the little sister, man, and hope everything go well. 
Yeah, man. Shout out to her fam. Yeah. We hope y'all hold strong. Shout out to Bianca Belair for giving that girl that spot. You right. Yeah. Shout out to WWE for allowing it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't like the um aspect of a whip braid and every time she come out to the ring. <laughs> I love it. She's taking, off. She's don't, taking don't, it back. Don't have my theme music with no whip coming out to it, man. She's taking it back. She's reclaiming it. it. No it song. Like it. But she do be whooping them white girls in that whip. I do like that. Every time get she hit him, get that bitch. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Do it again, Bianca. <laughs> do it for all the <laughs> Once again, <laughs> so it was a moon this week, y'all. So y'all know what I'm talking about. It's ass stone. So yeah, so do it. I'm saying I love when they do, it, especially in February. When she every, every match she got in February, February I'm watching. Hit him with the whip, baby. <laughs> Get him. Speaking of racism, let's talk about this. This is the damn thing. I almost broke the internet this week, man. I see so many haters and hatred and all type of other stuff just come from this story right here, man. Oh, you know what I'm talking about, man. Caitlin yeah. Clark and Angel Reese. So the story is, the baddest yeah. white girl on the planet, Caitlin Clark, whooping everybody ass in the double double A Women's Championship. She, she, she was um, she was Clark Kent, basically. She was Clark Kent, dog. She was kicking ass and Can't taking names, talking shit to the ops, talking shit and scoring forty points a game on motherfuckers. Talking shit. So she, you know, she was just trash talking and backing it up. What were they doing? Glorifying it. Ooh, oh, look, look, at look at this competitiveness. Look at this competitive nature of the. Look how awesome she is. So, Angel Reese, the black girl, whoops that ass in the national championship game and returns the favor. You can't see me. And what they say about her when she did? Oh, she, oh, she, she that. That uh, you know. Then the fucking. First Lady of the United States huh? had the audacity to invite not just the winner, but the loser too, to the White House. Now, what losing oh, yeah. team have you ever seen get invited to the White House? The losers don't never get to come to the damn. The losers don't never get to go. You never see, get to. You, you think Carl Malone ever been to the White House? Hell no, nah, Carl Malone ain't been to the White House. <laughs> You don't invite no Carl Malone to. You don't invite. Hold on. He you said, don't invite um, to lose. He said, "Okay, High Supreme, can we debate who did um who did the first Flavor Flav or Tony Yayo? Cause they say they trying to say Flavor see, Flav did it now. Flav's Flav's was more. Flav wasn't more like the you can't see me. Flav right. was just that's Tony Yayo. He was just I don't know. He was doing it to rap along with Chuck D. Tony Yayo was Tony Yayo. This was Tony the Yayo dance. That was his dance. Right. And then I can't feel my after G Unit. After G Unit came out, John Cena John hit the scene. Cena did it. And then he pulled it in. You can't see he, me. John Cena get credit to Tony Yayo too. Yeah. You know, he cause he know. Yeah, you know. So it's the Yayo. It ain't the John Cena. John Cena just popularized it. Let's get back to the hatred of this story. Because all kind of white analysts came out. It said, what, what they call this black girl when she did it, man? Unsportsmanlike. Um, it's no, it shouldn't. There shouldn't be a place in the game for that kind of taunting and all this. Yeah, they, but they, they straight crucified. Always been there. But they crucified the black girl for doing it. The same. Yeah, way. but they ain't say nothing to nothing. her, to home girl when and she I seen, did it. I seen the the temperature online. It starts. It's starting to race. I, I tell you, I think it, it, this. I think it's just something that distract us from something else. Yeah, there's something very something else going on. Is this the damn story mm-hmm. of, of two chicks, two chicks now doing what athletes do? Talk shit. Then the white girl, she she said, "Man, that ain't shit." Right, because it's not. It ain't shit. She didn't care. And she, she said, "She said, look, that didn't bother me." Now, but it bothered her, her people. Now, 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 now I gotta, I gotta play devil's advocate. When the white girl was doing it, the white girl was kicking ass and doing it, right? I'm talking about beginning of the game, middle of the game. But disrespect to that white lady. <laughs> but when the black girl did it, she did it with 10 seconds left. That's And that's what people were like, bitch, you talking shit at the end of the game? Like, uh, 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 you, you feel me? 
I feel what you're saying. Like, Caitlin Clark was doing it. She was dribbling between the legs, dunking on hoes. Ha, ah, bitch. We still, got, I don't know. we still got eight minutes in the game. Let me tell you. Come, she uh, did it with 10 something. seconds yeah. left. If I'm playing against Michael Jordan and I get a steal and a breakaway, I'm trying to dunk with my tongue out. <laughs> <on the free throw. laughs> I'm trying to show out. You can't. I'm trying to do anything I can to talk to him and talk shit. But then I'm going to like regret it later because that's Michael Jordan. But right. I'm just this saying. shit right here, I just feel like it was a, a it was competitive natures. We talk shit anytime we ever play basketball. You feel me? I'm just saying, I don't want the race wars to start off two girls' basketball team. Uh, Let it start with something else. Let it it start with something else. Not a damn hand gesture from two girls. Nah, it shouldn't be. It's just what the media is portraying. It should have been at the end of it. All right, good game, good game. And go on about your business. Whether you was talking shit the whole game or not, at the end of it, all right, good run. And carry your ass on away for your next run. That's how we do it in the gym. Caitlin and Clark. And I tell you, no, she did not. <laughs> ah, let's talk about this right here, man. What's my, what's my girl name? Um, Megan Thee Stallion, when she threw out the first pitch, everybody giving this man a hard time because what he had his hand at. Bruh, and he did. Is that too much? He did, in his glove or not, yo. Glove it's or too not. much. Like glove he, or not, yo. One hand was his hand. His hand on a cheek, yo. His hand on the... I, I just want to say it's nice to see a naturally shaped ass. That's the first thing. That's what Charlene and... was talking about. She was talking about some... Her butt looks nice. It looks right. I'm like... It looks like a regular uh, nice ass. I'm so sick of fake looking asses. It looks like oh, a regular fake. nice... Show me something. Fake hair or over with. Ass with some stretch marks. But I'm, I'm saying... I'm tired of asses that don't match size. Was he, was he in the wrong for having his hand that low? Okay. As a person who's played softball and baseball, like, everybody, ass clapping, like. No. Nah. It's a little hard to say. He wrong because for he, He's a little wrong for that, but it's not the worst thing ever because everybody. He is, ain't, is, yeah, is it ain't. On the butt with, they had a, nah, uh, he's wrong, Charlene. See, in he this picture right here, you can wrong. see it's not on it. On this one right here, it's not on it right there. You see? No, no, I see the shadow underneath it. But that this other one, picture you show. Okay, let me see the other it's, one. That it's, other it's, picture you this, show. This, I don't see nothing offensive about this. But now, this, this one, one right here, it's planted on it. Wow, <laughs> y'all all know who Charlene, who Charlene is. is. She is the crotch the watcher. Crotch watcher. So I see a dick man though. No, we, we, no. <laughs> we're not talking about that. We talking about <laughs> Sorry. We talking about the the subtle grab that he pulled off. Uh-huh. He he that's what I'm saying. Like nigga, you got the heel of your hand on her ass, bro. You talking about the heel. The heel. <laughs> you got the heel of your hand and your wrist. You, nah, yeah, you you, you try to grab her ass. <laughs> Cause he had one all the way up, all the way up at the top. Yeah, one up at the at the top, in between the shoulders. Then the other had, one could have been around her waist. He had this one; it wasn't on. You know, it. so he could have been doing like the little uh, the little hug. But when he could have gave her a side hug or anything, yo. Right, you in public, bro, and that's making the style, yo. That's he was shooting. He's taking his chance. He's taking his chance. He like he shoot. took his chance. Hey, I bet she got something to tell us. Tell his friend. <laughs> he, back, he back in the dugout. I'm like, nigga, I did it. <laughs> hey, uh, I, bet, I bet you ain't see that dish. Yo, speaking oh, of Megan the Stallion, this dude <laughs> right here, man, he posed as a police officer to go into a Megan the Stallion concert. He got locked up for it, too. Motherfucker. <laughs> that ain't even the crazy he part, tried. though. What's the crazy part? That ain't even the crazy part. The crazy part is he a barber. <laughs> <laughs> How you get a police suit? I don't know. And then some nigga posted underneath the sheet said, man, how come this is my barber? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. Can you imagine seeing your barber? Right. Arrested for some shit? Like, I said, no. What you doing some creep shit for? That's your barber, yo. He did it, man. He dre- yeah. Like, how? Like, you a man, yo. And you gonna dress up as a police officer to go and see a woman perform. To sneak in. That's funny. Like how they know he was like not a real? He probably was sagging. He probably was doing something. He probably he, probably, he, he probably had the credentials right. 
He was, he was walking. He, he, he was doing something wrong. He didn't look like one. He ain't shave or something. He, he didn't do something right. He didn't do something right. He didn't though. look authoritative. Nah, he like a, exactly. You look too skinny in his suit or something. Something didn't go right. They're like, hey, hey man. Beat cops ain't supposed to have a goatee. Right. They're like, hey, bro. What you doing with a goatee? Hey, come here. Where you? Where, where, are the, where you where doing you, that? You, he had a yeah. regular belt on. He had a Louis Vuitton belt, probably. He ain't had a damn the belt with all the the Batman belt. He had some bullshit. Yeah, he ain't had a Batman belt. He had some this nigga had a nightstick and a flashlight. He had a gun or a badge. <laughs> he, he, he had none of that shit. Fuck him. We gotta talk about Snoop Dogg, man, at WrestleMania. Bro, Snoop say WrestleMania. Yeah, he day two. Day On two. day two. You know, we never got through our rankings, bro. We didn't. Tomorrow, Not for, we didn't do day two. Nah, you said you were. We didn't want, you said you want to do it. I said we could have did. It. Oh. I was up and I was waiting. No, you said the day before, like, yeah, hey, I don't want. Oh shit! You said it's gonna be Sunday. You gonna be tired. I'm like, oh, okay. Shit, it got good after the first two matches. WrestleMania day two. It got good. It sucked. It was stale until like the end. I like the Cody and Roman match. Yeah. I like the um triple threat match for the IC title. That was good. That shit was. So Thinking. What about uh, that shit? I, I, I ain't like the um, Hell in the Cell. And then motherfucking Shame and Man music hit. Boy, it was Shame and Man. And I said, oh, oh, here comes the money. Money. Dollar, dollar, and dollar, nigga, did, nigga did three moves. Boy, he jumped over old <laughs> boy. Jumped up, he jumped over and the And that head. motherfucking knee leg Man. gave out. And he Man. couldn't get back up. Boy, I bust out laughing. I said, boy, this ain't supposed to happen. I knew part, that was supposed to happen. The funny part was Snoop got in there to my son. You all right, cuz? Yeah, you all right, cuz? And then Snoop just like, I love his improvisation, bro. Like, he improvised on it, the spot perfectly. It, it, it would have came off better if, you, if we can hear um the damn the female um referee kept saying, people's elbow, people's elbow, Snoop. Right, people's right, elbow. right. If, if we didn't hear that, it would have came off better. Because he did his thing. He, st- man, he, like, he really improvised. I was telling Charlene yeah. this last night. About how everybody knew that it was it was a messed up moment and he had to do something, and they. I think sometimes the messed up moments are the best stuff. It was it, it wound up being it wound yeah, up. Yeah, that's but that was I'm like not playing with a dog. This is this is Beethoven. This is Ludwig van Beethoven. I think this is. I ran that, out. Of, I'm, I'm I'm I gotta get some of my toys back, man. Shoot at you or something. I don't know, but yo, he did a real good. He did real good, man. So, said, so I had a question about WrestleMania before we go on. Oh, go ahead. Um, I gave Bianca versus Oscar like a four point five. Is she the new John Cena? Bianca Bella. Yeah, like she just gonna power out of everybody move and she, do her. She, she getting boring, boring bro. Like I, I, I like seeing um a sister had a belt for this long and winning and all this stuff, but. She also, she, Michael Cole is the goat she, she of get wrestling commentary. I want I want Oscar to win that match. Tell you the truth, man, she the new Cena. She might be the new um, Undertaker. Really? Who Oscar? Oh, no, oh, Bianca. Oh, Bianca Belair. Yeah, She's straight, but man, she she got to get rid of that goddamn braid, man. I'm tired of that, man. man you just hate yeah, that braid. Because I just like I gave you that Hell in a Cell match. We need we need that somebody to drink that bitch the hair. Out. The Rock's gimmick. The, the, Wrestlers are known for gimmicks. I know, but she got to. <laughs> Then it was looking raggedy. It was looking raggedy. Yeah, after a couple, because Oscar done started pulling this shit out. Right, man, break that shit up tight. Keep the man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I ain't like every that WrestleMania that shit look ghetto as fuck. She dope. Every she can pick bitches up. I like her because she got. I like her because she cute and she look like a real wrestler. That's what I'm saying. I like her because she the, the shoulders tell me. If I, if I can see your shoulders, she and muscles, like. I like you. I'm telling you, her, um, Tiffany Stratton, So Ruka, Jay Carhill. Jay, I don't really see Jay because I don't really watch AEW like that. What's the other one? But I know you're talking about she got muscles. Um, What's her name? Raquel Gonzalez? What, Rodriguez. Ra- oh, she Rodriguez now. They changed the name. Raquel G- Gonzalez. They got, you can see, they can pick a bitch up and throw them. I like that. Don't give me no. Yeah. Only one I like that skinny is Dakota like Kai. Huh? You like a bitch and pick you up and throw you? Y'all want a bitch to pick me up and throw, throw me around. You ever seen that woman pick the dude up and give him some head? Man, no. Damn, that was funny. That's the masculation. Well, that, don't do me that way, boy. She <laughs> had him in a like torture it. rack. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey. Charlie, look. 
Let me go. Let me go. I'm going to try it later. Well, no, 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 no. Don't try it again. Don't try it again. But that's funny, though. But Snoop, man, he did his thing, man, in that, um, <coughs> in that match. Um, yeah, he did that. He did his thing in that segment. Bringing that back. Was, yo, what's my man's name? Shane McMahon, bruh, you been gone for about eight months. Do you want to come bruh. back, get a little little pop, whatever? But don't be trying to do no high-risk maneuver. Like, I'm talking, he got a pop. I mean, the crowd went wild. Came out there. Up, like, that you. ain't even a high-risk maneuver. That, and then did, like, a regular wrestling move. That's something that they do he on the normal. Do, he can't do regular shit no more. He you know why? Because he oh, 50 he something, bruh. Then he, you know, wants to do the little duck down and let the man jump over you. He nah. couldn't even get back to that. You know how Cena got the three, the five moves of doom or three moves of doom? He only got one move of doom out the way, man. Man, he ain't even get to, to his punches, bro. Like, like he ain't get his shit whole, right. That whole setup thing, you know how they, you know, we watch wrestling a thousand times. When they throw a man, he going to jump over him. Then he going to hit the ground. A man going to jump over him. He going to come back, swing. Man, I yes, just knew Shane was going to pull a coast to coast on that motherfucker. And <laughs> when he was going to crowd to go wild. Yeah, nah, that shit said fuck Out that. Out of me, that's what he did. He gonna do it. And he said, nah, fuck that. We ain't doing none of that shit. We going to the house tonight. And motherfucker, Snoop to my son, you all right, cuz? <laughs> to my, hey, you all right, cuz? What you do to my boy? <laughs> Snuffed him. It was big shout out to Snoop. <laughs> all right, what's what we talking about? Yo, this story right here, man, I heard this last week. Did not know these were black folks. Charlene told me this. I'm looking like, man, y'all crazy. Then I seen the story. I was like, oh, that's them? I ain't going to put the legit oh. out there, but yo, he didn't do the woman and how the story go? I can't remember exactly. He murked her and it. fed the baby to an alligator. He, he stabbed her a whole Oh, time. I did see that story. Do you know they were black? Alligator. Yeah, I saw after the fact, I knew they were black. What? When I, I was like, damn, they found a little baby that's in the alligator. Boy. And then I was like, damn, oh, it was oh, a little oh, black boy. Oh, you talk about sports. Stephen Larry, I found, whenever you talk about sports or whatever, I'm WWE just about that talk. shit. So I, don't, I stay in my lane and stuff if I got a little comment here and there. And that's my time I use. That's my break time. I go yeah. break. So, yeah, you're right. We have the best co-hosts. Our co-hosts know when. I'm going to talk over everybody. Nah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to the Back to this. Here. Didn't I know they were black? I saw... I saw uh, I alert the little boy was missing and I saw the little boy I prayed for him because every time I see anything like that I always send out prayers and because stuff with kids especially will fuck with me so bad so the next day I saw something about them finding the little boy dead and yeah. found his mama stabbed to death but they, yeah. he threw the baby to the gators mm. Mm-hmm. and I just I just, I just knew that was not my That's team I didn't think that was my team it was no, Why damn, you tell me that bro. when you told me the story? You we were tripping this shit, boy. About people's color? Oh, I sorry. Don't a, I don't want to give one fuck about somebody's color. I do. I didn't think nothing about it. I didn't even think about it. Like I know they're black people, but I never thought about this being a black story. Um, it's a story about a family and a little boy that got murdered. Yeah, but it must be bigger than this because it's black. What are you talking about? They must have shit. I, man, if I had my t- opportunity to. <laughs> It was all oh, out of get no, y'all I back. I think those opportunities of dumb shit like um, the damn gorilla and the little baby. What was it? Oh, um, Harambe. Yes. When Harambe that, got that's got, when I, take my turn I thought time. Harambe. I like man, Harambe didn't got they didn't got killed over some little white. Oh. That's when I take my time because that Ooh. just be Harambe cause was people a, be like, black baby. Like, 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 watching the kids or something like that. That's when I take my opportunities. But this right here, this is this is different. This is uh, it's about the it's same a, thing to me because I thought when I heard no, the story, I'm looking like man, that man didn't kill this girl and threw his baby in there. Some you remember redneck. the boy here? He killed his family. You remember the boy? He he had a mental breakdown. Shot the mama. Shot the baby. Not the mama. Damn. Not that the was mama. a young black man. Damn. Yeah, when we catching up with y'all, ain't we? I'm trying. Let's try not to. Right. Let's try not, y'all. Let's we stay in our lane. Weapons on my side of bed. We stay in our lane. We, we gonna stay in our lane. <laughs> you start flipping and tripping. I'm gonna start. Let's have more cookouts. Let's have more cookouts, man. This dude right here is a YouTuber trying to prank somebody in the mall and got popped. Yo, I just saw that story. Like, yeah. He a YouTuber what happened was he was fucking with he was known for fucking with people 
and recording it right. for his YouTube channel. So he was in the mall and he fucked with the wrong person. He fucked around and found out. Well, and somebody shot him in the stomach. And, <laughs> and now he recovering in the hospital. He said when he get out, he's going to do more videos. I'm surprised it hasn't but happened earlier. He's he lucky the motherfucker didn't kill him. So Stuff like that get me, man. Stop like, doing dumb shit. I'm scared to encounter a Karen. I'm scared I'm going to beat the shit out of somebody and y'all going to look at me different because it's going to be on the news of because you're going to be the bad guy. I will be the bad yeah. guy. I seen, a, I seen a video of this white boy skating and this um white woman trying to stop him from skating in like a little area. You feel me? Like he on the skateboard and she right beside him. You can't skate here. You can't skate here. I'm like, man. Like that. Please go away. I, why? Like, I, I, why? I'm, I'm glad I don't encounter and nobody and trying to. I want to know, wonder why. Can you get an old lady? Because that old lady motherfucker won't leave people alone. Right. I will beat the shit out of somebody's old grandmama. I don't think I can do that, man. You got to stay away from them bitches. Don't say nothing. I, 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 I probably will stop. But if you around my same age, you know. Oh, man. If you. If you I'm I'm so scared to come in front of a Karen. Because it ain't going to go well for them. That's on everything I love and live by. I'm going to out Karen them. Like, let me look. Because I'm a white lady. Too. Say, say I'm, I'm, I'm out carrying her. Say, say I'm trying to steal something and somody going to stop me. You can't steal. Bitch, you don't shut the fuck up. Let me steal this. Mm. I'm a dog walker. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. When, when people be doing stuff and people be doing stuff like Karen's, a Karen, when they doing some Karen stuff, that's why I don't like being in public, man. I hit a Karen in the face with a pen before. What, what a. Mm. There was a desk between me and her, and I threw it and hit it right. In the I have really good Dang. action. I hit that bitch right in the middle of the forehead with a uh, ballpoint pen. You out carrying the care. Out carrying the care. I'm no, I'm she scared. made me lose my temper. I could have got arrested, but I did hit that bitch. In the, she did have that mark in the middle of that forehead, though. This dude right here. I don't know. He's trying to prank people. Man, Cause, man y'all know the laws now, especially down here in Florida now. You can carry without. A permit. Without, starting in July. You know how scared starting I'm going to be? Ju- go, not, you better, not scared um, that is. You better go match up. <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm be scared to go in public, man. Even more. Oh, yeah. Because somebody, they, this is stand your ground. Like somebody going to make up something against me, probably. And they can pop you. They like, had shit it's, on. It's, it's going to be dangerous. Ground, it's ground. a stand your ground it's law a, here. A, Florida, a weird state to be in right now. It's it's weird as shit There's to be down here in Florida, man. Right now, There's, it's a weird it's a weird time in the world. So mm-hmm. now you know they got... just took Go ahead. diarrhea and Frank out of Florida oh, schools. Yes, they did. The diary yes, of Anne Frank. Fucking did. Yeah, yeah. What? Do you know how much that book meant to me? This is before I found out my DNA test. Okay. I, I got I, loyalty. I got loyalty inside my DNA. Jewish, okay. Mm-hmm. I had no idea that I was a quarter Jewish whatsoever. But when I was a kid. The Diary of Anne Frank meant so much to me. Ugh, you're right. To read bottles. that story about that little girl and, and to feel, to feel what she felt. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To, to be, it was like living her life through those through those passages of time that she, that was inscribed. You know, it was a diary of a real little girl that existed before. Right. And now, whether that's been modified or whatever later on in life, finding stuff out like that. At that time, to me. That, that was, word was bond, and I, I thought everything that she went through, you know, everything was true. And that meant a lot to me. I, I, I don't see any reason why she should be taken out of school. I don't, it, it wasn't something that I felt should be taken, taken out. And now practice. you're, like I said, what they're doing is they're trying to erase the history, and all we're going to do is repeat it. They are trying to erase history. We said the diary of Anne Frank. I'm looking it up right here. Yeah, this this the I book, seen something that this um, the book they removed no. out of um you say out of Florida schools or just everywhere. Yeah. It's scary. No, it was Florida. Damn, that's messed up, bro. It's so scary. Um, like you can't know who Ruby Bridges is. You can't know the color of fucking um. Why my mind just went blank? Ro- uh, Rosa Parks. You can't know the story of Anne. You can't live through Anne Frank's words. Like, what oh, you, the hell? You didn't see, um... All, all we can know is George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and, you know, Andrew Jackson. Is that all we can know now? Right. I seen something, um... You didn't see this, Charlie. Today. 
Did you? Oh, you used, um, you still working? This we showed earlier. They put Rosa Parks on the back of um, a bus. <laughs> you know, you know, I be showing funny tweets and stuff. <laughs> they got. <laughs> oh, you gonna laugh? Oh, man. This who did it, y'all. Yeah. Charlene laughing. Oh, man. Charlene laughing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's like great dark comedy, though. <laughs> it, 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 I'm saying, man. Whoever did that. That was real. That's real. <laughs> that's around some city right now driving. That's long. Oh, man. I ain't not. Man, that's fucked up. I did not know you was going to laugh at that. <laughs> I, I thought this political Charlene was gonna come. I think it's funny because it's so fucked up. It is. It's funny. It's funny. But come on, man. They did that. Why they couldn't put her on the side? Same thing, Pre said. They had the nerve to put her on the fucking back. They put her on the back. They could have put her anywhere else on the bus. They could have put her on the window. <laughs> nah. They could have put her underneath the logo yeah. for the news channel they or anything. The, the man. Or something. The man. The man you said, put her on the back of the bus. Oh my god. Put her back. <laughs> the man was smoking oh my a cigarette. God. The man was smoking a cigarette. You know what we're going to do? We're going to stick her ass on the back of the bus. Stick her ass on the back. <laughs> Your ass getting back there you one way or the there, other. <laughs> yeah. that's and that's either in this lifetime or the next, she getting over there. <laughs> I guess I'll see you in this lifetime. <laughs> that was wrong, man. What's up, Flame Legend? That was wrong. That was so wrong. After all these years, she After still had years. to go to the back of the fucking bus. Yeah, we did talk about this a little bit. I'm glad you played that back for me because that shit is fucked up and hilarious. Jill Biden, when she asked the losers. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I kind of agree with Angel Reese on that. Like, hey, said, I wouldn't, don't invite the losers, yo. The losers ain't she, never been invited. She said she ain't going now. She didn't retract her previous statement. Now she going back. Now, because, she going, nah. Because, because, but she going because Iowa ain't going. But they, if you don't know what happened, Charlene, um, when the when the girls won the what you call it, now now hold on now the thing she was doing, Jill Biden, the, the, a lot of people giving a flat for inviting the the losing team to the White House also, but the thing mm. Jill Biden was trying to do and trying to say she was saying, like look, y'all fighting over this sports machine said let's do a sports thing and invite both teams, you know. That, that was kind. Of, that's what I'm saying. People they running with shit and trying to make it out of something today. Nah, but you, bro, you, don't, like, you don't. You you got to see what she's coming. You got to see what she's coming from, pre. That's not I see what I she. No, 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 no. I see what she's coming from. Yeah. But this is a discussion that should have been held in the White House before they she opened her mouth, yo. Because yeah, if she, you know, if we had, if like. Like, if me and you having this conversation, you like, hey, maybe we should invite both of them. But I'm like, well, take a look in history and see when the losing team has ever been invited. But she was doing it from it, the reaction from the all the hate and all the rhetoric coming nah, from the nah. side. She was like, yo, okay, y'all want to talk about sports and shit some more. Let's do it like this. Let's mm -mm. just invite both teams to come and let's bring them together. I no, see what she was trying to do. No, because she didn't. You see what she's trying to do, but nobody told her about the optics that it was going to look like. Because yeah. it looked like a predominantly white team coming, the white lady. Yeah, like, like that's what I'm saying. That's like that's why the world fucked up because people won't let shit like this happen when people like this try yeah. to bridge shit together. You see, that's what we let them bridge at. that shit. Let no. them bridge that shit between each other. No, that's no, between no, that's between Iowa and other That's shit. why it's called mediators. I would do the same thing, Prima. They need know. the I, they I need the like, first lady. Not even bring them all in. Some, them what all the fuck in. the first lady do? What's her job? She don't do shit. She, she draw attention so to the White House is what she do. So so she came up with an idea to stop some of the racial yep. tension that's going down. Like you don't nah, invite. Nah, she wasn't trying to stop no racial tension, Tice. No, no, so? no. She said no. She said I do not looked. think she was. I don't think she was. I don't think she why, was. That's why the world fucked up. I guess that's why, bro. Cause that's why the world. I don't think up, she we was. We won't let it happen. We won't like she like nope. all the shit going down, and I know it. And I'm I'm a part of it. I like it. I love it. Meow, meow, fight back, bitches. You know. But when somebody try to come with a solution to stop a little bit of the hatred and shit going on, we got to take them opportunities, man. Nah, uh, that ain't the right opportunity, yo. See, that ain't the right opportunity to be taken. You take it away from the spotlight of a champion. That someone who worked and deserved to take it away because of the situation. 
Right. The spotlight. The situation is the spotlight's only been taken because of the fucking media. How am I sounding more sensible than you in this? No, I don't know. But I don't know how you're not hearing this. Like, <coughs> the media is who's making it a big deal. These girls, these girls were just being competitive. <laughs> they were being competitive. They said it themselves that they were being competitive. But the media is ones who blew it out of proportion and got Jill Biden trying to invite both teams and insulting mm-hmm. the integrity of these black athletes. She insulted their integrity. <laughs> Right now, this is something another little, yeah, advantage. another little, yeah, and it's just like it backfired tremendously. It backfired on her. I just think it to me, it, it could have been, you know, it backfired bad. It backfired, it backfired bad. like, fuck. but only because we keep perpetuating bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Uh, like, it's, it's like a lot of shit can be handled, you know. She did the wrong thing and she did the right thing in the same sense, you know. That's just me. That's when you let them two things cancel each other out and don't do the shit in the first place. Right, right. She she retracted her statement. She was like, yeah, y'all fuck it. Y'all don't come. We let y'all come another time. But you don't both invite the losing team there, especially not their you win, do not. The winning team. The winning team, going to the White House used to be a big thing. Then it, Even Donald Trump invited motherfuckers to the White House and gave them Big Macs. <laughs> he didn't invite the losing team. McDonald's, he gave big McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. You want some McDonald's? But he didn't invite the losing team. He invited the winners. Yeah, but I'm saying that the racial the racial tension wasn't going on then. I said she was oh, trying shit. to. Oh shit! Shit! I mean, shit. It, 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 not like it is now. Shit! I'm saying it, it was like this when when o, um, when Obama was in office. Uh, exactly. They were like, "Man, not going to the White House to see the black man." It started back then. It started with um. No, it really started every day and see the with, um, with, with the other Bush, the dumb Bush. Mm-hmm. Bush Jr. Nobody liked him either. So they didn't want to go there. But I'm saying, big shout out to Bill. I mean, Jill Biden, even trying to look tempt a little something, even though they were the wrong even thing to do. I even I pre- I'm surprised. I, I hey, whatever. And, and don't get me wrong. I am, uh, like I was saying, I'm a like center left person. And when it comes to my politics. I, 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 shit, so, I don't give a fuck about no politics. Yeah, I know. You don't give a fuck. I'm more center left. But <laughs> that motherfucking shit is dumb as fuck to me. Him, though. You know, with two of those fish fillets set over here yeah. by my table, you can have all the chicken you want, the Big Macs, the fries. <laughs> Excuse I got some me. watermelon. I got some watermelon crush. Nah, he ain't doing that, man. He at McDonald's, man. Come on, man. Okay, man. Like, yo. <coughs> What's my man? Sting. What's um, Oh, did, he did. He got to pay him $5,000. That's the kind of royalties I want. Boy. I want them royalties. Somebody said two. <coughs> and Diddy up? came out and said, no, I just give him five. Huh? 5000 a day. Yeah, cause Diddy stole this shit. To sample that song, he sampled it without his permission. That's what good because you've been sampling everybody else too. Hey, he, he sampled the wrong motherfucker. Yeah, you know, Diddy smiling. He like, oh shit, sting, sting me, sting. But shit, how much money did he have made off that song though? Oh, didn't make he can it. afford it. He can afford it. He, he, oh yeah, it ain't nothing. But damn, it it, it sound like something when. But now it is because it, it, well, I guess he still did. He still getting money off of shit though. Yeah. But if he stopped getting money, then it'd be a problem. This is dope though. Did you get paid five thousand a damn day for? Shit. Yeah. Is it a day or a week? I think it's a day. That's the kind of royalties I'm trying to get. <laughs> right. I'm trying to get royalties for talk that talk. I guess. Oh, I do got royalties. Donna. Who sampled your thing. shit? Don't I get royalties? I, I gotta um, I gotta um, pay taxes on the shit. Don't I got royalties? You just get paid. I got royalties. I got a. You did get a royalty. I got royalty check. Well, royalty. Royalty. Something that said royalties and. IRS thing. The IRS for 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 this channel. I, I get royalties of some sort. Oh, then you need to register with BMI. Talk because you were. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you definitely need to get your sh- your business shit together. <laughs> Exactly, bro. Like we got. To, let's get our man on. I have trademark talk that talk and ghetto crates. 
Because that's how business, heist man is. Not all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Speaking of Trump, they got him. Don't be doing that okay. Don't put that okay symbol up no more. What that mean? Is, is it that mean a... white power. That mean white power? Okay. I just found that out this week, yo. Please don't ever do that no more. I'm not believing you for some shit you learned this week about white power. Nope. Have this a, Don't do it. And then... Have that. Fuck them. I'm gonna use it every day. Yeah, a, white, a nigga can't say okay. No, I'm okay. just saying. No, a you saying white power. <laughs> this, right. this white power right here. Join your it, join your magas. <laughs> this this is white power right here on the TV screen right now in the high school. The, 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 the uh, mug shot. You, <laughs> he ain't get a mug shot. That's white power. Damn. Yep. He ain't get a mug shot. Hey, he, How about I can't find my one and only mug shot? He flew a plane to the oh, damn jailhouse. He, 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 he flew he, a plane, he, he had an escort. Had an escort. I mean, I, I don't feel like it's right, but I'm just saying, he was a former president. So he a criminal, allegedly. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. If I know I got to go to jail. I'm not supporting piece of shit at all, but I'm just saying, he was a former president. They ain't going to let me call so in and say, look. Maybe that's one of the benefits of being a former president. What y'all doing Wednesday? Yeah. So I'm like, look, what y'all doing next Wednesday? What y'all doing on the seventh at seven? I got an indictment coming up. <laughs> I'll be in to turn myself in then. I I I'll come through there and holler at y'all. Yeah, I'm come through. But only thing about it, I don't want no handcuffs and no mugshot. <laughs> come on, man. Who can do that? Boosie said you gotta stop stopping. Um, yeah, on all people. Well, all um, the first thing about. Releasing all celebrity shots. I don't think we should. The public should never have none of them in the first place. How? Should, I'm nosy, so I, like them. How, I mean, hey, how, that's how you should, find out who in jail. How should we? I, I mean, don't know. That's, that's how jail. you find your homie sometimes. Like, right. What up, Stephen Bowers? Just like I seen. Um, what's that? What's that dude named yeah. little, the little white kid? Um, Justin, not Justin, Justin Bieber. What's his name? Is his name Justin Bieber? Mm-hmm. Justin Bieber. They showed him getting arrested and arraigned inside of a jailhouse and i was like how is there footage of him getting arrested inside of the jail that's in somebody sent that shit out there you know you're lagging here yeah. i'm lagging because we talking about damn trump right. <coughs> <coughs> we ain't lagged all night you understand what i'm saying though mm-hmm. about um oh. about justin bieber Like how how how's we able to have footage of that? Because my head is fed heist. That's so funny, um, Stephen Bowles. We were like, remember that like, yesterday <laughs> before we were actually saying that? Mm-hmm. We saw like a clip from um, Fat Albert. So that's so that's wild. Look at this. <laughs> and they say the only thing he getting locked up for is what? Stuff he did with old girl. He got thirty four counts. Yeah, but it's saying, all about the hush money. The hush money because he ain't pay old girl. I heard she got to pay something back to somebody too. She, yeah, because she was running her mouth. She had to pay him back. Yeah, she had to pay him back. You signed he the NDA. Then look, don't tell nobody how I look inside of these drawers, these underwear. What is that picture of him with his lips sucked in? That's so funny. We gotta quit talking about him. Start lagging tonight. Yeah. We might keep lagging for this. Look at the Cash App dude. You heard about that? That's scary. Yeah. That's crazy. They try to turn that motherfucker into a screen door or something. Think about this. They try to turn him into a screen door. Uh, they poke some creepy. holes in that motherfucker. This seemed like one of those, you know, those things where you'd be like, oh, yeah, it was the boule or the fucking mm-hmm. naughty or some shit like that. Murders. This some government. I don't know. I just feel like yeah. behind this. As soon as I heard it, you know, it like right. it, they was like showing footage of it earlier where he was like trying to get help and people were driving past him and shit and speeding off on him and shit while he was bleeding out. Mm. It's creepy. It's crazy. It's real creepy. You know, they got this other thing called Fed App or something that's coming out. A new app or something is coming out. There's the, cause the money getting funny. They say shit changing and all that stuff. Okay, so what what it is is um. Ah, oh, we talking about too much real stuff, man. <coughs> That's what happened. These bottles on my leg. Bottles gonna leave us. 
We coming back. We coming back. We um. We... I I'm ahead. Huh? Don't leave. Don't leave mm-hmm. We talking too much real shit. Hey, Carlos, you ever seen that meme with um SpongeBob where he's like lifting up off of a chair and be like, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out." That's what All I'm right, saying. I'm gonna head out. We talking that real shit tonight, man. That's how they do us, it man. Yet, y'all? It'll come back. No, it ain't back. It's oh. coming back. We see. Oh, damn. That's true, man. It's crazy. We don't get lag like that. Mm, mm, mm. Peace out, bottles. We see you, man. All right. Oh, we back. Bottles. Yeah, we sorry, back. Sorry, bottles. We I'm back. So sorry. We talk. We talk about Drake. Speaking of crazy Drake. America, Drake. Childish Gambino said he came out with the song "This Is America" uh-huh. because of Drake. It was a diss song to Drake. Was it? Mm-hmm. That's great. He said it started off as a diss song to Drake. This is America. You know he from Canada. Uh huh. This is America. Is it really? Don't get your kid. I'm never surprised by anything <laughs> with uh, Mr. Glover. Then he changed it up to something because that's a beautiful he's song. That's one of my favorite videos. He's so talented. Big respect to him. Oh, you know what I heard? Was that? Uh, shit, who was it? Somebody said for Thirty Rock he was a, a, a not minority hire. Diversity hire. Diversity. Tina Fey. A diversity hire. Yeah. Tina Fey. Shit, Tina Fey told him that. That he was a diversity hire. Best diversity mm. hire they ever made. I mean, I think. Oh man. When, I'm saying, was he exposed? Was he supposed to expose that? Cause maybe she, cause maybe she would be real with him and tell him like, "Bruh, they only hired you because you're black, cause so take the opportunity." You, you feel me? Yeah, she could have been putting him on game. Like, why is he telling? A lot of things. Yeah. You know the context though. <laughs> you gotta know the context. That's what I'm saying. It might not have been that she was like, cause I don't see her as no malice person saying you only you only here because you're a diversity hire. Yeah. I've seen her on some like. Bro. Unless them two have beef, you unless know. They had, unless see, they, I don't know. That's why. Unless I'm, they had an argument, she was like, "Fuck you," you know. Oh. The context needs to be had. I need the context on that. She might have told him like, "Bruh." Because there's plenty of times where I've told you get your black ass in the house, and somebody out of context and be like, "Oh, that white." I'm gonna record you. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna counsel you. I'm gonna counsel you. Record me. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna counsel you. <laughs> I'm gonna counsel you. I'm gonna counsel you. Yo, but you know what I'm saying? Context bo- means a lot. Context means a lot. Glorilla and Bootsy Badass. What about? Oh, I do know about this. They named each other animals after each other. Man, we didn't. They didn't call us with the lag game tonight, man. Oh. They hit us with the lag hard over everything. We never talked about. We talked about too much real shit, it's man. We start talking about politics on. Oh, Damn. You see what happened? We talk about politics, show. So you have him, will you bring up Biden? We talk, we talk, we talk <laughs> we talked about Biden, we Trump. Talk then we talk about the Cash App dude getting murked. And they say, yep. That was it. The, yep. We That's the, the cash. That was like <laughs> the, the trigger word, I think, for tonight. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's still recording, so uh, yeah, Larry, I, 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 I throw it back up, man, because the show must continue. But they named each other. They named animals after each other, man. Fuck YouTube, man. They pay your um, your what was the thing you got? Your, um, <laughs> my royalties. <laughs> royalties. They pay your royalties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn man, they got me man. They played me man. They played yeah, shut me. Shut up, you don't get your fourteen cents on this all episode. Hey man, I made six cent last week on this. On, on Listen, this. cents add up. So relax, cents, relax, cents add up. relax. <laughs> That's the only cents you got. Relax. I'm telling you, man, if I go back and look at the which kind of, if I don't get donations, only make like six cent, eleven cent, twelve cent well, like said, of the video. The, you got ever had. The, the, the lives don't make nothing. Yo, who hungry? You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't never that hungry. You can see this pre. Yeah, I can see that picture. I ain't that hungry. Damn, man, YouTube ain't got me, man. I can't see no pictures. This is what they did right here. Oh! Hey, Subway got a Cadbury Easter egg coming out. That's so nasty. Would you eat it? No. That's nasty. Oh, that shit like snot. <laughs> I don't like the idea of it. That shit oh, like straight. It's not real. Deep. That can't be real. It's making my stomach hurt right now. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't even like thinking about it. I'm going to look at the other TV. 
Damn, they paid me, man. Why is my shit not coming back? The weather, Daytona Beach right now. I can't, uh uh. Forecast for rainfall, Gainesville, 1.2 inches tonight. No, wait, yesterday's Friday. Uh, it's already it's already done rain on my side. It, 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 it ain't rain on our side. Not yet. It sure got us. Not, I got ringing in my damn ears. Man, I'm trying to figure out my lag situation, man. Okay, will we just sit here? Can y'all hear us? I believe they probably can. Well. Well, I'm going to give you another story. This story right here. You uh, saw some boom. A, a, a dude you know how you get with lag game, sorry. Uh, because I mean, lag game, I know we getting fucked with. <laughs> I know we getting fucked oh, with, yeah, so it's they, different. They, they pick on. Now I'm just want to make sure we ain't getting monetized or nothing. Rape, kill, murder, death. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> fuck the fuck it, fuck. Get it all out the way. Rape, 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 rape. Child molester, child molester, child molester. Child molester, rape. <laughs> just get it out of the way. This is <laughs> what this dude probably was doing right here, man. He stole the thumb off a figure, a figurine. What you say, Cody Rose? Four point five million dollars. <laughs> what you say, what you say, Cody Rose? Right, we got to break. Throw the thumb. <laughs> 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 throw the thumb, a thumb. Up. He stole the thumb <laughs> off. Of, <laughs> he stole the thumb off a four hundred and fifty million dollar statue <laughs> over in China somewhere. Oh, he got locked up. He stole the thumb. He probably trying to rape <laughs> that motherfucker. He gonna rape himself with a thumb. What you, what you say, Cody Rogers? <laughs> Damn. No data. Oh. Oh, man. Damn. What is going on, YouTube? We talking about the wrong shit. We talking about the wrong shit. Oh. Man. Hold on, I'm about That's to go so back. Funny. I'm about to go back live. I don't care. Soon this shit come back on, I'm finna hit record. Do that, baby. Right here. I'm just gonna hit record. I don't, I don't care. Um, Cream, can you see the screen that popped up with the birthday? Was it a, was it last was it last week or the week before where he had like all the different people on the birthday thing? And he made your eyes messed up in them glasses. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, I remember that. Every time I see it, I say something to him about it every right. time. Right. I'd be like, Why you made Prem ugly? <laughs> Because I was, but, trying, even like, but it was, uh, like it was that? one of the stories. It was one of the stories in the um heist box that was a woman who had them crazy ass eyes. I, I said, motherfucker, but why you had to do me? Like that? I, know. <laughs> I know, that's why I told him. I had to. I bug him about it every time. I'm trying to see this, man. I didn't hit. I didn't stop the show. I'm trying to get back. I need to get my toes done, but I'm so poor right now. I gotta get it together. This is so dumb, man. I hate this shit, man. See? Ah. Can you better rub your wiener? Profusively. I'm too sorry. That was, a, that was an empty, that was an empty <laughs> gesture. <laughs> empty gesture. Empty gesture. Today was my first day working this whole week. You know, I'm Hold on, man. We finna go live. Let's see. I'm probably gonna put it back up. Do something. We still recording, but um. I had so much to do. I've been sick as a dog all week long. They they ain't messing with me, man. This YouTube stuff, man. They is they didn't got me, boy. I don't even care. I'm still live. I I guess. Man, what's his chick name, man? Angel Reese. You hear what the girls did at um after they won the title. They won the title. What are you talking about? They went to Raising Cane's and start start selling oh. Sir, some chick. Oh my god, I think you don't even know. There's got to be some kind of like we were talking about earlier context behind this. It, it was probably some kind yeah, of thing. but like we just like earlier, it's the optics. It's all about the optics. Oh. It's the way it looks and the way they're portrayed. Oh. And shit, you was better off going to Publix and selling some clubs. No, I'm yeah, saying that, like, yeah, yeah. that's what they do, man. They go serve some fried chicken. A lot of people tell me it's, it's, not, it's not fried chicken. It's chicken it's strips. It's chicken and it's fried. It's, it's chicken strips. No, it's chicken. But it's fried. It's still fried chicken. It's, it's fried chicken. chicken. They don't want some fried chicken. 
Dang, you want some fried chicken? Hell yeah. I told I you, just man. Asked. When, I, when I made the video about it, I said, I know plenty of white people that eat fried chicken I also. fried chicken so bad. I want a real piece of fried chicken. Like with a homemade? My aunt, or my aunt, mm-hmm. praying mama. I want some, I want oh, some man. Like mama chicken. Like, mine's good, but <coughs> here's the thing. My, my chicken is somebody's mama's chicken is just as good, but I made it. You so want somebody else's. You, yeah, when you make something, it's... You uh-huh. kind of get full while you're making stuff because you're tasting it and doing it. You know, you you don't. It's not the same. It's not the same. I need somebody else to make me a plate of something good. Save me a plate. I, I want some some cornbread, fried cornbread, and some collard greens and some fried chicken. Yeah, we gonna um. That sounds delicious. <laughs> We're fishing. <laughs> right. Appetite really because of my. Uh, I'm hungry, but I only can eat like three bites because of medicine. I think makes me a little nauseous. Mm. So I just want a mm-hmm. bite of each one of those. But they played me, man. Talking that real shit to get you. Damn. Yeah, the chicken, the chicken, the chicken. That's what they were doing. They were serving chicken. They won a national championship and served chicken. Hey, man, John Leguizamo, he came out and said, look, I'm boycotting Mario because they didn't have a Latino. Be Mario. First of all, Mario was Italian. First of all, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna like, say, I, I get, oh, oh, my bad. I ain't, oh, he was Mario was Italian. So he had, that ain't even an argument. Right. That's enough. <laughs> oh. That's so, a non-argument. Oh, maybe I got it wrong. I know he was debating well, something. I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure me and Prim were on the same page about that, that you got that wrong. All right. Well, maybe he said Italian. I mean, I also agree. At, at least they gave him a damn Italian accent. They gave them Star-Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Damn Star-Lord, uh... I don't even care who's playing it because he's a damn cartoon, first of all. First of all. Right. But second of so all, at least they got that part right. <laughs> if they would have stuck to an Italian accent, at least uh, that sounded like the game because it makes me lose something and it not having them. It's a me, Mario. You know. Right. I heard that um they they uh, fighting right now with um Barbie. Cause Barbie finna be the new movie come out. We gonna talk about. Uh, Barbie, oh, Barbie, Barbie get ready to kill that. that. I can't fucking wait. I, I almost want to go to damn theaters and see Barbie fight. Feels so bad. They they hit Barbie right on the oh, head. I can't wait to see Barbie. Oh, I can't wait to see Barbie. I'm excited. I'm like, I just hope it ain't it ain't got like a corny storyline and it do it's good. Barbie, in the what kind of storyline you got, Barbie? I, I, I just not... have a feeling Barbie's gonna be really good. They put so much. You can fuck up. Barbie up, yo. <laughs> they can fuck not it up. Me. Shit. They can fuck it up, but I have a feeling it's gonna be good. Talk about Clarence Thomas. Just get shut down uh, even more. Shut down again. Get shut down so, again. Clarence Thomas. Guess who been getting free luxurious flights and hospitality? <laughs> Big surprise here, piece of shit. Clarence Thomas. Is he like the only black man inside of the of Supreme Court? You yes. Know, I, think I, I don't even know because he, he is the only black person on the Supreme Court. No. The last one was Thurgood and Marshall. No, no, no. I think a oh, black man. I, I think they just put a black chick in there, didn't they? Oh yeah, they did. She just got in. You finna lose that spot because he wanted them to take paper. First of all, he don't deserve the fucking spot. He's a fucking piece of shit. Been a piece of shit. He should have been gone a long time ago. Should have been gone a long time ago. Clear Thomas. But now we know why he got to stay because he's been bought, purchased, and and paid for over and over again. Paid for. Mm-hmm. His vote is for sale. Obviously, clearly. And it messed my show up, man. We talk about you. Two... You should have known his vote was for sale when he said he didn't care about interracial marriage. People not being able to be interracially married. Be a, a white wife. A white wife. A white white woman. That like me. He is fucking the biggest fucking sellout. He is trash, trash, trash. Been trash. Clarence Thomas for the lose that spot, man. He's talking shit. He might not. Knowing the way our fucking country working right now, he might not lose it. Yeah. And the person that has been paying for everything for him has had. So many things come in front of the Supreme Court. So many things. 
and it's a billionaire who giving him these flights and he said they are like personal gifts and nothing to do with business. Okay. Okay. This yeah. Wow. That's crazy. This is crazy too, the, the man. The Supreme Court Go ahead. justices are more important than who our president is. Mm-hmm. And people forget that we got three branches of government. They are, they are more important. Bottle says sneaks back in and announce. Oops. Bottle! Hey man, they're, they're so it's a shit show tonight. To, to, to the way our government's supposed to work, that's like our, you know, that's our checks and balances. That's our, that's our way of making sure things are fair. Is by having them. They're lifelong, you know. They're they're lifelong friends. Yeah, you can. You're yeah. basically got a live free card. Right. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. They're supposed to be. A, they're supposed to be exemplary. You know what I'm saying? They're Exemplary. Perfect as you can be as a person. You know what I'm saying? These people ain't better than the fucking president even. These ain't no split for this people right here. These people worked at a damn uh strip club. Oh and had a God. minor working there for years. It was a fifteen year old, yeah. For she years. Been, she's fifteen, but she's been working there for years. So how many years has this fifteen year old child been working there? So I'm every so one of them need to be so locked up. What the fuck? Let's get off that story. <laughs> I'm running out of story. Anyway. We already banned. What else? Fentanyl. Damn, we gonna get killed tonight, boy. Fentanyl, these nuts boy. Around, Fentanyl. Like sunset. <laughs> they found out how Coolio died. <laughs> that Fent. That Fent. Coolio oh, died. Boy, that Fent in here up. The motherfucking block, boy. Right. It got everybody. They said it was an accidental overdose of fentanyl. Just like mean, Michael K. Williams, right? No, you could be your accidental last time. So if you accidentally taking fentanyl, that means you still try to do some hard. Right. Well, I ain't gonna get no accidentally fentanyl inside of my weed. So, damn, Coolio. Every man I'm off side, no. Never the fentanyl. No, you know what I say about Coolio. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and tell that story again. We run out of stories. Yeah. This show about to come to an end. And yes. since we already canceled, Coolio was with an underage girl and Charlene knew. Yeah, she already did. They was up both, Charlene was somewhere behind backstage with Coolio. And he I smashed. Uh, both of y'all was underage. And so who did you smash the fat one from uh, Gangsta Paradise? No, I, I didn't. <laughs> that was a song. I was backstage with Tell uh, me why. Tell 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 me Gangster, Ice, Ice, his name was Ice Man, the fuck. <laughs> nah, what's the Gangster Paradise? Who's? I have no idea. I, I what's his name? Privy to none of that. That's not none of none of none. I gotta find out his name. Do you know his That's name? None of, none of, I don't know his name. I'm gonna find out his name. I grabbed uh, Keith Gangsta Paradise. Butt, Paradise. Butt, Paradise. Butt, Paradise. Butt, Paradise. I did like the baseball player. Did. Yeah, that's what I did. How about LV? His name LV. I have no Damn. Idea. <laughs> anyway, Rihanna unexpectedly. Oh, this LV. Go ahead, baby, go ahead. Rihanna unexpectedly paid two years of a man's mortgage by renting this house during Super Bowl week. Mm. Can you imagine how much she paid for a week? Uh, to cover two years of mortgage? If she wouldn't have to pay. I bet she wouldn't. She wouldn't have to pay. She can say she Rihanna good. Well, that, oh, we got a picture of LV. This is LV. <laughs> This, look, this LV. This Gangsta Paradise. So, when Coolio was with Charlie Homegirl. I went with nobody. I, <laughs> I, I have never been one to go with the friends. Oh, okay, okay. I'll okay. spoil the whole fun. Don't, don't ask me. I'm the, I'm the friend to sit on the couch and make the stink. Bottles is, is vouching for you. He said, Lady is an innocent bystander. That's right. Bottles, so. thank you. We said, hey, I just had to know, because that was a story. Hey, you know I got hotels. I was, we don't want to hear no hotel. We don't want to hear truth. no hotel. You can have me looking like this. Yep. Baby, what you do? <laughs> don't make me tell the truth over this what, bitch. What you do with him? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, man. <laughs> no! You, 
<laughs> See, and that concludes how that's how the episode. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, we got stuff to do still. Hold on, I, I, I know. Trust me. Hey, speaking of um, that that was um, he died from that fentanyl. Um, the the four dudes who um murked XXXX Tension, they got life in prison. Yep. Um, one of the dudes that killed Pop Smoke got four years. What dude got Pop? Yo. The dude pled guilty of selling um, Michael K. Williams that fit and all. Yep. He got 20, didn't he? I think he, he got some time. I don't know how much it was. I think they gave him a dub, but they sure got him. They got him. Um, I was just mad that Omar from The Wire getting his drugs from a dude who looked like this. This is what the dude look like, man. Bro. They a part of the JCS Army. Look at this. <laughs> That's the dude selling Omar from the wild dope. Come on, man. My shit is lagging. Come on. I had to get behind the back live, but yeah, I see him now. That dude could Hell no. <laughs> that's us Omar from the wire, man. And that's who he getting this dope from. But he didn't he gonna, he gonna do about eight. They say he gonna do four. They say he played guilty and gonna get four years. I mean, he ain't do nothing but get how he get caught selling. I mean, they got pictures of him selling it. It's like I don't know, man. It's crazy. I gotta open up YouTube again. This dude right here, Kanye West, in the Donda Academy, is oh, getting I'm sued this one up. for serving um, sushi. That, they got sued not, racial not, discrimination. The sushi part is not the weird part. It's the fact that they had to sit on the floor and and eat with no utensils. They had to like lean forward and try to eat it with no hands. What the fuck? So y'all don't like sushi, fam? This is the best academy you can go to of all time. And y'all don't want to eat sushi? What y'all want? Hot dogs? Spam? Turkey? Bologna. 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 We got sushi, fam. Y'all can eat... <laughs> y'all can eat sushi at the Donda Academy. Don't be talking... <laughs> Hey, y'all see you having the rest of menu? God damn, Snoop Dogg, you uh-huh. stay the show. You stay the show, Snoop Dogg. That motherfucker jumped over that motherfucker and he hit him with the worst people's ever I ever seen in my motherfucking life. Snoop Dogg. It was the it was the bounce off the rope for me. The bounce off, hit that rope harder than that boy. You look <laughs> stupid as hell hitting that rope, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> He's so stringy. That motherfucker yeah, that shit like a string. <laughs> smoke crack. Do look like I smoke crack. Hell yeah, I smoke crack before. But Snoop is the only rapper who has wrestled in AEW and WWE this WWE year. WWE and AEW. Snoop the man. He been I was in ECW. Fuck Paul Heyman. Some of a bitch. Black <laughs> motherfucker. You motherfucking bitch. Heist man was talking that real shit tonight. Guess what happened? His motherfucking channel went off the air. But guess what? He back. He back. He back and he black. He black like my forehead. You see my forehead? Mm-mm. I'm not looking at the thing. Do it look like I smoke crack? I'm not looking at that. Hell yeah, I smoked crack before. God, fuck you. Have you Mas- smoked crack before? Hell no, nah, I ain't never smoked crack. Heist man don't smoke crack. Son of a bitch, you black motherfucker. Look at my lips. Look at my lips. Look at, look, 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 look at my lips. <laughs> ah, we have fun over here, man. Um, damn, uh, is that it? Is that the last? Is that the last story? That was the last story on the hate I train, know, man. I, sent you about things. I know, but I couldn't. I ain't, I couldn't have. Um, I couldn't cut them and put them up there. Bullshit. It, it's it's all right. It's all right. Bullshit. Primezilla, you know what time it is, don't you? <laughs> Prims ghetto word of the week. Prince Ghetto, word of the week, 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 woo. Week, week. Prince. Prince Ghetto, word of the week. This week is obloquy. Obloquy. Ugh. Obloquy. Queef? Don't obloquy my name. Ooh, don't fuck up. <laughs> fuck up. Don't, don't obloquy up. my name. Don't fuck up. Ooh. Don't some... obloquy the LSU women's basketball team. Talk down on Talk bad about. Obloquy means to censor, slander, or disgrace. Ooh. Don't slander me. 
don't obloquy me. I like that. O B L I. O B L O Q U Y. I'm putting it in the chat. Obloquy. Obloquy. Hmm, I like that. I'm finna obloquy, obloquy all in your name. Hey, y'all y- 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 gonna do that? But first, Prima Lee, what's y'all black history fact for the week since y'all so damn... You wanna go first? He gotta look one up. I ain't looking nothing up. I'm going. I'm looking up in my brain. Hold what on. What is Prima Lee's oh. black history I, I fact? Uh, oh. Uh, 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 well, one thing is I learned this week that um, Frederick Douglass, he had his first wife was black and his second wife was white. And there was like some controversy. I didn't know he was allowed to even marry a white woman. And she was like an abolitionist. He married a white woman? Yeah, I, I didn't know he was allowed to marry a white woman. He so I thought that was pretty cool that, um, that he was even allowed and she was even allowed to marry him back then. And then Uh-oh. my recent black history fact is Dr. Tamia Potter just made history. How old is she? Her name's Tamia. She was Vanderbilt's first ever black woman new neurosurgeon resident in 148 years. God damn. Vanderbilt. I got a I got a black history fact. You need what? This is Prima Lee's black history okay. fact. Okay, okay, you ready? All right. So March of twenty twenty two, Hubert Davis became ah. the first black man to send Coach K to death retirement. <laughs> <laughs> you, fuck you. That was a good fuck one. You, oh. fuck you. And that springs Black History Fact of the Week, All bitch. Right. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna have a. Don't, don't get me started. Every shot that Michael Jordan missed coming up next week, bitch. Every time he lost Michael's in the playoffs. That's so funny. We had fun over here, man, and we got um. Threw off the air because we started talking that real shit, man. They don't let us talk real shit. So I don't know why they even give me yeah, a we channel. We can only talk about fluff. We can talk about fluff and bullshit. We can talk about that. We start talking that real shit, man. They want to get us, man. And um, thank y'all for coming back, man. The seven people, man. Big shout out to the seven. The Club seven, I don't know. man. Kyle, Kyle, Billy, you know I be serious when it comes to my Tar Heels. So, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man, for the seven for coming back <laughs> with us, man. Listen. Oh, you just don't know the hell how be giving him and dogging him out. Oh, my God. So, when I can get my shots in? Yes. Uh, <clears> I got to take. That's team Because I know the shit that Heist be doing. Oh, boy. Hey, watch man. next week, y'all. You're going to be so I disrespectful. Like if I get, like, a light blue shirt. Or, <laughs> God damn. Like, one of the kids. Yeah, like, nah. I got a light blue Ford Taurus. You know when you go buy a used car, you don't get to pick the color. I came out like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? It's a cute car. I was like, what a fucking light blue. He, he used to understand. Nigga, I go he to was the, so I go to the, mad. I go to the <laughs> store, so serious. and I was like, let me get a big lighter. And they, like, no, no, no. I don't even care about a blue lighter, man. Give me that Shit, pink Sometimes one. it don't even be Carolina <laughs> blue. It be like mint green. And he's still... It's just, it's just too close. It's a variation. Yeah. It's a variation to care a lot of people. Motherfucker, this is a green. It don't matter. It, it yeah, is yeah. a variation. Me and him have had, like, for real fights where I pulled up, like, every variation that um, North Carolina has ever used, like, any, every blue they've ever used or every uniform, and I've proven to him. You only think that because you <laughs> think I'm crazy. Yeah, I know you're crazy. <laughs> I'm, who do you? Who do you? Charlene, you talking about the colors on the phone? I'm not talking about the shit with you. Why not? You want to talk to me about nothing on me? No, you are aggravating me. I'm not aggravating. You're aggravating me, I mean. My arms are short. You look like that shit anyway. You I don't look. Need to I, you trying to say I look. Hey, hey, bitch, you trying to say I look. Yep. <laughs> you look just like him. You trying to say I look like CeeLo Green. You like CeeLo Green. CeeLo. CeeLo. CeeLo Green, the bitch. CeeLo Mean. I don't look That's like CeeLo Mean. Charlene, who do you? Who do you? I should have thought of things to fuck with you this week just to make up for you acting up earlier this week. You probably would have. And I'd have been like, no, you can't do that to me. Oh, my God. Why are you pulling out your bullshit? I'm pulling out all the bullshit mm-hmm. out tonight, man. Pulling them all out tonight. Oh, Everything. I'm hungry. You need to cook me something. I'm going to cook you something soon. The show is over. Let me lick my lips. They look kind of dry. We need some fried chicken. We, ain't got enough, we don't have any food. fried chicken thawed out. <laughs> no. This is the hood Thanksgiving. What is this? What, what holiday? Is? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
cake make a thing with you? I don't know. I ain't, I ain't heard. I don't know his channel no more, man. So I don't, I don't know what he doing, man. I don't, who he getting? I, don't, I ain't seen nothing. I don't know. He getting somebody. <laughs> he mess with somebody. But I don't, I don't see him, man. I ain't seen him Hope in a while. Doing all right. Hope you doing all right, man. Hope you doing all right, fam. Hold on. Sh should I make a Scott video? Yo, clip this. I'm, I am I ride with Scott McKinnon, fam. I'm <laughs> Kanye West, and I support Scott McKinnon. Everything that he do to y'all. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Oh, my God. I don't, <laughs> I don't hear that shit, man. What else we got, man? That's it. Ten forty five, man. Show over. We, we broke it down to two parts because we got cut off the air. Now we back. I feel like you were not. Be you you should have been better prepared. I you got cut off, and you still cause all that stuff I sent you. I know you sent me a lot of stuff, but I couldn't. I had to cut you it had out. To clip put the picture of Pooh Bear. Picture of Pooh Bear. And Pooh Bear with a shotgun. No, I didn't. Because maybe if you would have sent it to um a different thing. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Excuses. Top 50 of all time singers. Let, let's do it. Who the top 50 R&B singers? Who you want to put in the dudes or, or females? R&B singing chicks. You got a list, Premium? Uh, top 50? Yeah, top 50 R&B bitches. Top 50. Oh, um, let's look this up. We got a few minutes to freestyle. Okay, so so what what um timeline are we talking here? Is there I'm, a certain I'm, I'm, time I'm, that we start? Are so we going I'm all type time? In top 50. R&B singers. Any B. Top 50 R&B all time. Oh, I said R&B songs. No, I don't need songs. Artists. 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 Top 50. Damn, y'all oh, got me typing. I, I can start naming some. You can look it up, too. I did, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you got the list? I just pulled up. It's just random sources across the web. Marvin Gaye, James Brown, Aretha Ooh. Franklin, Stevie Wonder. I got the list. All right. Number 50, Karen White. Karen White? Yeah. I'm not your super I woman. Do. That's what I, you see, I think she should have been higher. She could have been higher on that she list. She could have been higher? That's the only song of hers I know, though. Only, only yeah, know but her song. vocal range is... Was, she was great now. But you know, like, I am yeah. only human. You had right. to know that song. That was it. <laughs> you know, I think you're allowed to be around black folks back today. Yeah. Song, Number so. 49, her. H E R. That, yeah. Yeah, she's new. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. 112. What? I ain't comfortable with it. All right. 47, Escape. I like Escape, yeah. They could have been 50. Nah, they could have been about 40. I'll yeah, give them about 40. 46, John Legend. 46? I think he at least a 35. John Legend at least a 35. We don't know which way to go. I don't know, man. I don't even had him on this list because I got to see the rest of the list. It ain't... He top 50 of all time? Okay. 45. Music, music Soul Child, number 45. Can't get you uh, out of my system. I, mean, I, I would have put him that. higher. Like, he probably wouldn't have made my list. I like his Neo Soul music. I, I like know. He was... I was living in D.C. when he was popping. I mean, I like him, but I don't know if I make, it, it, it makes me, he don't make my soul Shit, 2003, do, 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 do. I just want to do it. All right, number 44 is Brian McKnight. He had a lot of songs. 44? One last cry, one last cry. I just remember start on um, Back at One. That song back in one. Two, it's like one, two, three. <laughs> okay. All right. 43. Johnny Gill. Um, I think Johnny Gill should be farther up. Up? Like in the 50s, 60s, or lower? Lower. Okay. 44. I mean, 42. The Barge. <laughs> they ain't say El the Barge, Chico. They didn't say the Barge. They probably the whole. The so that the means the whole group? The whole, the whole group, the Barge. What? what the website you're on. Man, I gotta look back up. This is Soul Music Soul Child. Yeah, I'm trying to find the list. Yeah, this is Soul and Stereo. I have no idea. This is some randos. Damn, should I get another list? Just keep going. 41, Joe. 41, I don't want to be a player no more. I don't want to be a player no more. I mean, okay. 40, Tony, Tony, Tony. Okay. 
Forty is good. Uh, yeah. They put it. They should be higher. They have more hits than that. Uh, uh, baby. <laughs> All right. It never rains in Southern California. Mm-hmm. Anniversary. It's like an anniversary. That Raphael Sadiq. He was doing this thing. So, all right. 39. Jagged Edge. Mm-hmm. More Maybe hits. At the altar in your yeah. white yeah. dress. Yeah, I don't know about this list. I, dude, should I look up Billboard? On. I just looked up top 50 oh, list. Dang. All right. Number 38. Faith Evans. Faith at 38. I'm sorry, I got to put the wax. Uh, 37. Lionel Richie. How many Lionel Richie songs you know? I don't know none. Uh, You do. You do. You do know Lionel Richie songs. You know Dancing on the Ceiling. You sure do. No. What a feeling. Cause we're dancing on the ceiling. Shit. You remember that? I don't know my nigga. Shit, why need you to bump Hello. that shit? Okay, I remember, I remember that. Hello. Yeah, huh? Is it me you're looking for? All right, all right, all right. All 36. Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Jill Scott. Let's take a long walk. Oh, that's him? A long walk. Yeah, the dog. 35. Monica. Monica only famous because of Brandy, dog. What? No. I gotta say it. The boys Don't get me wrong. Right? Monica had a. Monica what? had no, Monica no, had no. Sorry, no. Atlanta. We never will be doing the live show in Atlanta. No, and we will Boy, not. I'm sorry. Boy, they but gonna fuck I'm, you up. You won't let me make my point. You won't let me make my point. The views when of the screen. Brandy came out, they needed another Brandy. They needed another young black female out there. And Monica was the choice. That's why it was always awesome when they finally did that boy is mine. Because Brandy and Monica were running parallel lanes. But they would never attract together. Yep. Prem getting us canceled, boy. They they already don't. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm just just telling you hard facts. I have a hard opinion, bro. Okay. 34, Jasmine Sullivan. Lions and There's nothing wrong with people, but this is a weak ass list for a top fifty. Let me see top fifty. V- I need you to get into the top twenty. I need to see who up at number ten and up because these I, is like this is not. It. Do I gotta, this is I not it. It's a weak. It's a weak list. Billboard, Billboard top fifty R and B artists. No, I don't want hip hop. I want R and B. Cause y'all to make me mad now. I gotta, <laughs> Now we got to start all over. See, they don't give me... They give me a top R&B hip-hop. They don't give me just um, R&B Here's by itself. I pulled out my ass. Did it sound better than, the, than yours? I'm going to go to the bottom. Hold on. Hot R&B, hip-hop, hot R&B songs. Okay, here's one that just passed 34 was Al Green. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of putting my... All right, they got man. Yeah, he has. Going back dudes. to my list, man. Just because. Who 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 next? Drew Hill, thirty three. Drew Hill. Somebody sleeping in my bed. You telling me Drew Hill ranked higher than Jagged Edge? And they Lionel, right beside each other. You ask me. And Lionel Rich and Brian McKnight. They, yeah. Cause I know more of they shit. I don't know, man. Thirty two, <laughs> Uncle Charlie. Charlie Wilson. Charlie Wilson. He should be higher. See, I know he should be lower. Thirty one, Lauren Hill. She should be higher. She should be higher. Like up or you should mean higher? Higher mean like in the twenties. So she should be lower. You know the fuck with me. You okay. know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this today. 30, Neo. Lauren Hill under Neo? Hey, he's 30. She's 30. Neo's pretty good, though. And he's a writer. And he's a writer. 
Neo's pretty Why can't awesome. I turn off the radio? <laughs> I, I can't front on Neo. Neo's pretty awesome. Alright. Let's see. 29. Guy. Aaron Hall and Guy. 28. <laughs> SWV. See, now you in the 90s. Kick off the like, shoes and relax your feet. I love SWV. Right now the now you're talking about music. Just kick it. 27. Next time, pick a list from our era. I'm man. saying the list looking good now. I'm looking at the list. The rest of the list. This, this is a good list. The rest of it. All right. Now, 26. I mean, 27. Bobby Brown. Well, at least he hired a Johnny Gill. So, okay. 26. Destiny Child. What? Boo, this list. 25. Chris <laughs> Brown. Chris Brown 25. at 25. Yeah, at 25. I'm saying the Boom, rest of the list, list get better, though. 24. This, in this Vogue. List, oh. Bruh. See. Destiny's Child is under In Vogue. They could have switched. They number two spots. 23. Maxwell. Like yeah. A, 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 this can't be of all time. It just can't be. Because we're in people like fucking Patty LaBelle or... This R&B. Prince. Do you think you call that R&B? Yeah. yeah, that's just like soul music or something. Oh my god, that's like rhythm and blues. Well, it's R and B. That's what R and B is. That's it more like soulful. No, that's Marvin Gaye. <laughs> rhythm and blues oh, is R and B. I don't count them. I count like I count like nineties R and B. That's what. Pendergrass. No. All right, twenty two D'Angelo. Otis Redding even. See, I, I like this list because it's like you got D'Angelo oh, higher than Destiny Child. I need a fucking baker. Yeah, 20, 21, Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat, god damn. 21? 20, he should not be named R. Kelly. Yeah, he should be named when it comes to a list, though. When it comes to R.B., he should be named and he should be higher. Mm, he okay. should be closer right. to one Ray than he Charles. is. 19, Erica Badu. Love Erica Badu, but yeah. I don't even know if she's... I'm comfortable with that. 18, Aaliyah. She should have been up at the top. She should have been higher. Her she voice, been... her vocal range. Yeah. 17, Alicia Keys. Because she can play the piano? She's talented too. I love Alicia Keys. 16, Brandy. I don't think she should have been. Where's Tony Braxton? Where the fuck is Tony Braxton? Tony Braxton is two underneath Brandy. 15 is TLC. 14 is Tony Braxton. Who's Barry White? Where the fuck is Barry White? Babyface, 13. Babyface is 13? Yep. He should have been higher. New edition, 12. 11, As a group. Yeah, 11 is Jodeci. I was going to say, where the fuck Jodeci at? 10. Okay. Let's get it. Top 10. Anita Baker. Oh, it's Chaka Khan. You called Number him a new Number 9 is Sade. Sade should be in the top five, but okay. Beyonce is number Aww. eight. Okay, be cool. number eight. Yeah. Boy, Luther don't say that too loud. Randross is seven. What? Number six Luther is Janet seven. Jackson. What? Five, Above me up. Five is Mariah Carey. Four <laughs> is Boys to Men. I carry a top five, bro. Three is Usher. Three is Usher. Usher number three. Two is Mary. Usher been around forever, though. I, I, listen, I'm not disputing the fact that he's a great R&B artist, but he is not number three. Two is Mary J. Facts. And one is Whitney. Whitney. Nigga, where the fuck is Marvin Gaye? I don't know. Right, I didn't make this. Some, Barry White. Like Where's Luther? Integral. Integral R&B artist off that list. No, where Luther? Luther was like number four. No, this four. is a fucked up list. Okay, we got it. This, this is not a valid list. This is some bullshit. This list gives, like, li- like, gives me like almost diarrhea because it's so wrong. I didn't know. This, I, I didn't pick the list. I mean, I picked you the list. You picked the list. The shittiest list you could have found. I just picked the first one. I just tried to freestyle. 
the greatest all time R- hot R and B hip hop. You know it's a fucked up list if you make a fucking white person upset over the damn R and B list. I ain't even giving y'all no more freestyle bullshit no more. God. Dang. I try to give y'all look. I try to give y'all a no bullshit R and B list though. Well, I just that shit was I just some bullshit. This is the last time I give y'all a list. No, no. Who who wrote that list? Tell me the tell me the author. The I author. forgot. Still so I can motherfucking the band they ass. <laughs> y'all know, man. Good Lord. Like that was just an idiotic list. I'm sorry. I just I just found the list. You I, just read it. Sorry. I know you just I'm read sorry it. Too. Hey, right, we had to get past the little 15 minutes we had in the show. And guess what? Hey, it, it did. Perfect. It did. Sorry, y'all, for this week show we had this week. Next week, we going to have number, another week. Next week, number one rapper, Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right there, right there. Don't say my fucking name. Number two, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Hey, let's look up that list. Top, no, the top no, five. The top. No. Oh, okay. We do the top. No. We do the top ten. The top wackest rappers next week. Some right, shit. No. I ain't on that damn list. I'm dope, yo. Damn, y'all. God damn. Brinzilla. What do you gotta say before we get up out of here, man? All right, all right, all right. You motherfuckers have a great weekend, an even better week, and we'll see you next week for Talk That Talk 249. 249, we get close to 250. Man, we almost at 250. It's a quarter of a bed. Quarter of a bed, we doing it, man. We doing it. We gonna have some more fun, though, man. Charlene Defoe. Nah. Nah. My list got it. Nah, my nah. <laughs> Gas Y'all remember a few things. You need a dope show. Call yeah, on. I smell the fuck. Charlene Cream in that wet list. <laughs> Y'all do streams. Maybe we do a show of whack lists. Whack lists. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather eat crumbs with bombs. <laughs> Shut up. Better make whack lists with snakes. <laughs> Don't compete with me. Make whack list. Make whack list. <laughs> and thank you for ducking with your crew. Preemzilla, Charlie Defoe, Heist Man Defoe. We're going to do this shit all over again next week. We do the guitar list. We do all kind of lists. Next week, we're going to do the list show. The list show. We gonna see y'all next week, man. Prezilla. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. One, two, three, hit it. Peace. I won. That shit whacker than Ja Rule in 03, nigga. <laughs> what would I be without my list? <laughs> 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 <laughs>